Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where y'all are when y'all are watching this. Thank y'all for being on the channel, Sprinkle Sprinkle. So I asked my Patreon members to choose the subject that we're going to speak on today. And I picked the one that I thought was most relevant at the time. And it's how to stop catching feelings. Because a lot of you ladies mix up what you're doing with love, <laughs> okay? And it's so sweet, it's so nice, it's so wonderful to know that there's still a chance for love and true love out there, great, wonderful. But y'all are giving it away without them earning anything. Love is not to be given to just anyone unless that's what you are choosing to do, but is you're going to have a lot of issues if you go and do that, if you lead with that, okay? Yes, love someone like, you know, oh, I love you like, you know, just because you're a human being, but you don't fall in love with these people and you don't start building a life with them inside your mind on the first date or the second date. You don't do that. And some of y'all are so guilty of falling for people, falling in love, you know, catching feelings for the dustiest of dusts or the guy that doesn't even plan to see you next week. So y'all need to stop doing that. It is obsessive and it makes women look stupid and crazy. Okay. Y'all need to tap into the more logical thinking when it comes to dating. This is not probably going to be your future husband if you most likely met him swiping. Okay. I mean, it could be. But just to play it on the safe side, stop falling in love as soon as you hear a man's voice or a man text you. It is super pick Misha. Y'all need to stop catching these feelings because it makes y'all look dumb. And that's why men think y'all are dumb and easy and easy to manipulate. Because as soon as they tell you exactly what you want to hear, what you don't tell yourself is when you start falling for them. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're the best. Oh, you're so great. You're this. Okay, I already know all this. Can we skip to the part where you're going to give me some money? <laughs> so a lot of y'all seek so much validation that when someone gives you some type of validation, you start falling in love with them quickly because maybe you didn't get it growing up. Maybe you don't give it to yourself. Maybe you're not confident within. But that is one of the keys for leveling up in order not to catch these feelings so you can get this money. Y'all fall too quick for some words. Okay. So don't do that. It's not right. It's dumb. You said you are so weak. Yes. It's so weak. It's like, this is why people think women are the, I mean, when you have to act, please act, but literally in your mind, stay in the type of thinking that's going to get you something. That's going to get you money. That's going to get you to the next level. That's going to get you respect. The type of money, the type of respect, and the type of lifestyle that you're trying to get. If you fall in love with anything that comes your way and gives you a compliment, then your love ain't even special. Let me repeat that. If you fall in love with anything that comes your way and gives you a compliment, makes you feel good about yourself because you can't do that for yourself. Your love is not that special. It's too easily gotten and anyone can get it. You see, exclusivity is more than just only seeing one person. It's I only have feelings for one person, not everything that come walking my way that gives them compliments. Okay. Uh oh, Charlie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl, for being a member. So some of y'all just be falling in love for, with compliments. You're not falling in love with the dude. You're not falling in love with anything. You're falling in love with the possibility and the compliments and how you think he might treat you because of how he sees you supposedly. And he don't see you. He just trying to see his way to your bedroom. All right. Oh, Milagro, Spark, Sparkle, thank you, girl, for a super sticker. And y'all don't see this. And it's sad because a lot of y'all women are just giving your feelings and love and emotions away to people that don't even want them. And then you wonder why you're hurt, why you got to heal, why you always want revenge. Why? Because of, it's yourself. It's literally you. It's not them. They, you already know what they want when they up in your face. You already know what they want. You already know. Any man is up in your face 
and he and he's attracted to you somewhat, you know what he wants. You know. And as soon as y'all figure that out and accept it, the better off you will be. The less you will start catching feelings right away from someone who has done nothing for you. Okay. So please, y'all, wake up. Be smarter than that. Okay. Oh, Norma, sprinkle, sprinkle. Some of y'all got multiple degrees, but still can't figure this one out. Okay. I have multiple degrees. I'm in medical school, but I still fall for everybody who gives me a compliment. And, and da, da, da. okay, no. <laughs> No. Far for people that give you some money. And still don't even fall all the way. Pretend you fall. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. You're so sweet. I really appreciate you. You're so special. Okay, you can act too, ma'am. Oh, um, Maurice, Mauricia. Thank you, girl. I hope I said your name right. Morica, okay. Anyway, Mauricia. So, man, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are asking questions that are always telling me that you don't love yourselves. A lot of y'all's questions really just translate into, "Shira, I don't love myself. What should I do?" <laughs> okay. Sure, I'm with a Dusty who's broken. Don't pay for no bills, and I keep him and uh, let him stay in my house. How do I leave him? What that really translates is to Sure, I don't love myself, and I'm desperate and stuck with this do, Dusty dude because he made me feel good temporarily. How do I how do I fix it? Well, you start loving yourself. Stop giving away your emotions and falling for anybody who gives you a compliment or tells you something you should already know within. Okay, you know how little kids be like. Walking around and then somebody says, oh, you're so cute. And then they say, I know. Be like that. You don't have to say, I know. You can say thank you, but really be thinking, I know. But literally, y'all need to start validating yourselves instead of looking for validation. Yes. Okay. So my thing is, you know, you can look good. Okay. You know, you can look good. That's obvious. You know, when you step out to your house and you feel yourself and you look good, you already know that. You don't need no one else to tell you that. What you need is for someone to pay you because you took effort and energy to look good because they appreciate your presence. You need them to want to provide for you. That's the correct type of validation. That other stuff is meaningless. And if it's not getting you anywhere further along, then it's meaningless. Stop using that as a, uh, you know, a start of any type of relationship or commitment because y'all are trying to commit to guys who don't even like y'all y'all are asking me questions how do i get a man to commit if you have to ask me how to get a man to commit then that's not the right one he don't want to commit to you if he hasn't already if let me repeat this if you ask me how to get a man to commit he don't want to commit because if he did he already would have if you were that special if you were if you were the one for him he would have already tried to snatch you up, ma'am. You wouldn't have to ask. I promise you. Okay. So if he saw you and he says, that's the one, can't let her get away. You won't get away. Okay. So stop wasting y'all's time. Oh, Jay Ellington. Think like a stripper, ladies. No feelings, just money. Okay, Jay Ellington, that's that's right. Think like a stripper, get this money. Because that's all they're going to see you as anyway. The men aren't on their first dates or on these websites looking for their future wife or the future mother of their kids. They're not. They're looking to see if they can sleep with you or if they can take you out to eat a couple times to look good on their arm. They're not looking for their wife. Okay. If you should happen to become their wife eventually, that's different. But they're not looking for her right away. They're not looking for her. They're not on there saying, this is future wife. On the first date, they're not saying, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get to the altar. <laughs> Think about this. And y'all sitting there, you know, y'all need to be thinking about money just like they're thinking about sex. 
You know how they say a man thinks about sex so many times a day? Well, you need to be thinking about money as a woman that many times a day. Not marriage, not how you're going to get him to commit, not none of that. Just money. Because like I said, what a man invests in, that's what he sticks with. The more he spends on you, the more likely he's going to want to commit later. Okay? True. I know a lot of men don't like all this being told, but it's just the truth. I mean, it ruins their game, but it doesn't have to if you play the game with them. You get it? They want to sleep with you. You want to get their money. So guess what? <laughs> they have to try even harder because now you're not flattered by some words. Now you're not flattered with a compliment. Now it's not enough. You know, now they have to put in work. And instead of getting, uh, you know, you to catch feelings on by the second date, you're all in love. You know, it's not right. You don't need to care that much about someone who cares nothing for you. Okay. Um, a lot of you ladies are saying, well, how do I get him to give me money? How do I get him to give me a gift? How do I get me to take him shopping? I mean, take me shopping. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. That's easy. But some of you ladies are asking, how do I get him to commit to me? How do I get him to marry me? How do I get him to propose? Okay, It's easier to get taken shopping to get some bill money than to get proposed to. I promise you. And think about this. The more he takes you shopping, the more he pays your bills, the more it's going to make sense for him to propose to you. I will repeat this. The more he takes you shopping, the more he bills he pays, the more money he gives you, the more it's going to make sense for him to propose. Why would he propose to someone that he's not invested in, hasn't done anything for, doesn't feel um, responsible for, doesn't feel connected to financially, at least anyway, doesn't feel like, oh, she needs me financially. There is no real attachment because men don't really attach when they sleep with women. That's y'all that attach to men. So men attach to how you make them feel, how good you make them look, and how much you need them and how much they have invested in you. So don't ask me how you get a man to propose and how you get him to spend money on you and all this. I mean, how to get a man to propose and how to make him commit to you if he ain't spending no money on you, okay? Because y'all ain't going to get it. Make them spend money, big money. Ask for big things, okay? If y'all are in a relationship, y'all are going out all the time, don't be afraid to ask for what you want. If he likes you like that, if you know it, because you, it's obvious, if he's much older or well, you know, way less attractive, you already know you're gonna get what you want. So just ask. Don't feel like, oh, well, I don't know how to ask. Well, But you want him to get down on one knee, propose, but you can't even ask him for some money? No. You can't even get him to pay your bills, but you trying to get him to propose? That's dumb. A man will propose way faster if he paying all your bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I promise you. So stop catching feelings and start catching common sense. Stop catching feelings and start catching common sense. All right. Now, now a lot of y'all are like, well, I don't believe in sex before marriage. And how do I get him to spend money without having sex? Make sure you already tell him in advance that you are high maintenance. You only date providers. And you're, you know, this is the type of lifestyle that you are used to. Then they can't argue with it. If they want to be in your life, they're going to pay. If they don't, they, they got to go. Okay. Some of y'all are too scared to lose someone you don't even have. Y'all are scared to offend a man who haven't even paid a dollar. Y'all are afraid to offend a man who hasn't even paid a bill. Oh my gosh, what if he thinks this? Or what if I offend him? Or what if he doesn't call me back? Or what if this? Or what if that? Okay, what if you're wasting your time dealing with somebody who's broke or ain't going to be a provider anyway? What if you're wasting your time with a man who already got five dates lined up for the rest of the week? And won't even remember your name in two days. What if you don't want it? Why don't you get some money, man? Be smart. Y'all are done. Especially if y'all are dating online. Okay? Get some money. 
The real ones know. The real ones have money to spend. They already know what you want, especially if you look good. Now, if you look bad and terrible, y'all are dating for fun instead of for funds. You, you know, take all that time and energy to level yourself up so you can, don't have to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all out here dating because y'all bored and lonely. Okay. Well, if you're hungry and bored and lonely, make sure at least the dude is paying for dinner. That's all I can tell you until you can level up past that. <laughs> Don't be sitting out here trying to split checks at dinner time. That's the worst. You could you could just go out with your friend or go out by yourself. Okay. Don't do it. It's not even worth it. And some of y'all are catching feelings when the guy is paying, but y'all are catching feelings too soon. Men take a while to fall in love. Remember that. However long it takes a man to fall in love, you need to take longer. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Milagros. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, so It may take a man two, three weeks to, like, you know, really have some type of in type of feeling for you if you've been dating and talking and all this kind of stuff. And it's to take you, like, a month and a half to even feel close to what he's feeling. Okay? He needs to say, I love you first. I like you first. I want to commit to you first. He needs to say that first. He needs to prove it as well because words aren't enough. Well, if he says he loves you, that means he loves your bills. If he says he wants to commit to you, it means he wants to commit to your bills. He wants to commit to your happiness. He wants to commit to your lifestyle improvement. So just saying I love you is not enough. So after a man says I love you, instead of saying I love you too, you can say something like this. Oh, that's such a beautiful word. It's so much more beautiful when, you know, actions, you know, actions and love go together. So. You know, it's, I really feel like I, I could be falling in love with you too, but, you know, I fall in love more with actions. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Don't be falling in love with a word. Fall in love with his actions. You know, I love it when you pay the bills. I love it when you take me shopping. I love it when you give me money when I don't even ask. I love it when you sprinkle, sprinkle me with jewelry and you know, gifts. I love that so much. And I love that you know that I love that. And that means you know me very well. And, you know, you pay attention to me and you, you see me more than just, you know, an object. <laughs> you know that I really like how you treat me and this, 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 this and that. You know, words, because he's not going to be offended two weeks in, three weeks in, if you don't write him a love poem or a sonnet of how you feel because you hadn't known him that long. Oh, Molly, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes, you are. Keep waking up the masses. Uh, uh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle. I'm trying. Molly, thank you. <laughs> now, and also on this channel, don't, don't ask me about, you know, okay, so here's my thing. If the man is not agreeing with your level of standards, don't compromise with him. Okay? Because you'll be compromising the rest of your life. What do you do if provider cheats a lot? Cheat a lot too. Sparkle, sparkle. Elisa. Cheat a lot or get a lot of cars, get a lot of jewelry. If you're not trying to cheat, make him give you a lot of money to make up and pay for his forgiveness. Protect yourself and stop sleeping with him. What are you going to do? Okay. So. He's too busy cheating for to him to worry about what you're doing. All right. So. Another thing. This is why you don't get attached and catch feelings. Because look, if they cheat, you your heart's going to break. Oh, my God, my heart. No. You better have my money and double my money and buy me some extra gifts this week. That's how it goes when you don't catch feelings. You get it? And I explained this. Hold on. Thank you, Jacqueline. I explained this on an, another video. When your bills are late and they have a late fee for being late, they don't care if your bills are late. They ain't going to sit up there and cry. They're just going to ask you for the extra money. Get it? And when your bills are late, 
and they're continuously late, the credit score goes down. That means his account, his, uh, you know, his believability goes down and you don't trust him as much. Da, 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 da. And he still got to pay. Right. So in order to build that trust back up, and he's still got to pay extra late fees and whatever else penalty fees that you're going to give him. At the same time, he got to still fix his credit. It's the same thing. Make them work. <laughs> Do I believe in 10% being loyal to men? 10% being loyal. 10% is okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You say 10%. <laughs> I say be loyal to yourself. Because men are loyal to themselves. All right. Be loyal to yourself. What makes you happy? What what are your morals and what are your standards and values? What is going to make it okay for you? Be loyal to yourself. Because that's all you, like, that's your when you go to sleep at night, when you close your eyes, when you're by yourself, when you're alone, that's you. That's all you. So be loyal to that. Because a lot of y'all are going, you know, acting stupid over being loyal to someone that never intended on being loyal to you, never wanted to be loyal to you, never was going to be loyal to you, never will be loyal to you. A lot of y'all are sitting there wondering why someone won't be loyal to you when they never intended to, ever. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A lot of men, especially uh, even rich men or broke men. A lot of them already know if I see a better one, <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm going to hit it. You know, if I, if I get the opportunity, I'm going to, I'm going to take it. They never planned on being loyal. Not even from the start. So why do you care? Oh, Maria, you'll have your first date with an ugly fat old man on Friday. I'll follow all your two. Good girl. You can get a lot of money out of him. Sprank, sprank. Make sure wherever the date is, it's close to shopping and an ATM. You got your good story ready, okay? You, before you even get on a date, pretend like you broke your bo favorite bottle of perfume and you lost one of your favorite earrings and see if he's coming with gifts, okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Let him know the exact name, whatever. Start giving too much information so he know what to go by. <laughs> How do you know if he has feelings for you? If your bills are paid? If he want to help you? If he's financially helping you? If he can't stand to see you struggle, cry, or want for anything? That's how you know he got feelings, ma'am. When you don't have to ask for anything, he just give it to you. When he coming up there with that envelope, when he like, here, put this in your purse. That's how you know he got them. Okay, you coming with the old man coming with these with cash. Young guys are gonna put it in, in your cash app, your PayPal, your Venmo, whatnot. Okay, you, you with an old man envelopes, ma'am. That's how you know. You can even be the bank envelope from the ATM, whatever. That's how you know. When he's paying for you, when he's giving you things, when he's trying to gift you and give you more than what you have, when he's trying to better your life, that's how you know he has feelings for you. Because a man don't want to better any woman's lives unless he's going to be in it to reap the benefits. All right. Oh, tips for freestyle in a nice mall in rich area. Not the mall, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I mean, you can go to the mall and shop or whatever, but I suggest going to a nice restaurant bar. Where drinks are very expensive that has valet parking. Like it's, it could be a nice restaurant near the mall, but the mall, if you're just going to walk around in the mall, it's fine. But it's easier to catch men when they're drinking and their <laughs> inhibitions are low. <laughs> oh, thank you, Punchline. Thank you, Lauren. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just wanted to say thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. Oh, she done sent me nine and nine and nine. Oh, yes, Lauren done sprinkled me. Thank you, girl. Appreciate you. I, I see you got your sugar daddy. Okay. Thank you, Goddess Aries. I appreciate you too. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate y'all today. So, yeah, y'all, somebody said they like my hair. Thank you. I'll be trying. <laughs> um, I 
Oh, Chloe says, you asked your boyfriend if he finds his coworker girlfriends attractive. He said yes to me. The disrespect, what should I do? Okay, first of all, men have eyeballs. Unless he's blind, cross-eyed, or whatnot, he's going to find women attractive. Now, if you're trying to get money out of him just for that, then just tell him how it makes you feel and that you need a spa day or like you need to go get your hair and nails done. Maybe he'll give you some money for that, ma'am. I don't know. Or, you know, whatever is going to, uh, some type of jewelry or whatever is going to make you feel prettier. Okay. But men are always going to find women attractive. That's, that's just obvious. <laughs> Hopefully he's paying them bill. Yes, it's natural to find others attractive. People don't just get ugly because you with somebody, girl. Sometimes they start looking better. <laughs> like, hey, you looking kind of good even now that you're down that you're attached. The sad thing is sometimes, okay, now listen to me, ladies. When when a man attaches with another woman, sometimes other women start looking even better because now they're forbidden. That's why you see a lot of married men out there. Because now when they become attached, all women are forbidden. So they look way better. They're more tempting. All right. So think about that. That's why you got to look way better and keep yourself looking good. So you can always have options too, man. All right. And the funny thing is, let me tell you how look. Well, if your man go out, he looking around. And he can't find nobody in that bar looking way better than you. He coming home. If everybody look ugly and like who did it and why compared to you, compared to what he coming home to, he might not stay out long. He might stay out for a second. Watch a few pick meshes and, you know, whatnot. But then if you look like 10, wait, 10 times better than what's ever out there, he's coming right home. He's trying to get you to go somewhere with him. Hello, Andrea. Your boyfriend found out that I listened to you and he said, um, indoctrinated when I asked if he would want his niece to listen to you or pick me sister with three baby daddies. He said he would prefer you. <laughs> All right, then. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, thank you, girl. Tell him, you know, he better act right. He don't have to worry about the wrath of sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Oh, Ella, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What if I like my man provider is getting bored of me? What if I feel like, okay, then girl, switch it up, man. Do you know how y'all see me on this channel? I'd be switching it up left and right. They don't, he don't even know what's coming out, you know, the bathroom when I finished with my transformations. One day I might be in all pink, cute dress with lace and heels. Next day I might come out with a cowgirl hat, you know, or next day I might come out with a wig that's a totally different color, red nails, you know. Red lip. One day I might come out with <laughs> looking like Elvira or Morticia. We switch it up, man. Stop being boring. I'm switching it up. You ain't gonna. You gonna feel like you cheating when you ain't. I have a high paying job. How do I? Pro how to make him provide? Don't tell him you have a high paying job, or tell him all that money you make and go into somebody else like your family. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so if he wants to be with you, he got to get it together because you ain't there to pay. Just seriously, tell, basically tell my money is off limits to you if we're going to live on your check. That's all you got to do. I accidentally pushed the button that took me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Yeah, your money is not his money. Remember that. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How should you catch a man if you won't? Okay, be a man. We don't catch men; we attract them. If you have to run and chase and catch a man, you ain't got you ain't got no man. <laughs> okay, you got an emotional support pit that you've been caught out in a while. Uh oh, Janet, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, a guy wants. To buy you a vibrator online, should you ask for money? or Girl, well, first of all, why he want to buy you that? Just tell him to give you the money and you go pick out whatever you want. 
Okay, so here's my thing. If if you're letting a guy online, I don't even know if you know him or not, get that personal with you right away. Wrong target. He needs to be trying to buy you what you actually like, something that increases in value, <laughs> okay? Or pay some bills over there. Have a great day. Thank you, Gloria. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Absolute. Free. Thank you, girl. Y'all are y'all are just letting people like just because someone offers to buy you something doesn't mean that's what you want. Okay, so that's why I say have y'all's list ready, y'all shopping carts full. So when he's asking you if you want if he wants to buy you something, I already have something for him to buy. Oh, heavenly thoughts on situationships. I've been seeing a guy for six months and we both have feelings for each other, but agreed to stay friend. Girl, that's not no that, you mean a booty call, sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't come in here telling me situationship. You got a booty call. And now you call feelings. Okay. Um, this is why you don't do those things unless you're not going to catch feelings. This is why you need to date multiple people at the same time so you don't catch feelings. And women attach too quickly when they sleep with men. So you're always going to catch feelings with whoever you're sleeping with. So if you if you don't like sleeping with them, you're less likely to catch feelings. So make sure if whoever your situation shit booty call is that they ugly. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Tiana makeup, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Godmother, for everything. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. In, in your situation, you wouldn't even have to call it a situation if the man was ugly. That would be your man because he would claim you. The man ain't ugly. It's a situation, aka a booty call. The man ugly. Oh, that's my man. That's my sugar daddy. He paying, he giving me money and keeping me on direct deposit. I ain't got to work no more. You see the difference? Go, go get somebody ugly and. Try the same technique with, and you're either going to be married in a few years or you ain't going to be working in a few years. Okay. Switch out the cute for the ugliness or the old. Then old people don't have no situationships. Either you with them or you ain't. They know they ain't got that much time left, so they got to make a decision. Okay. Stop playing with these guys. That's why they think that they're supposed to have attractive uh, women because you're giving yourselves away for free, calling it situation shit. If he ain't paying all your bills, it's not no situation I want to be in. Okay. <laughs> not no situation I would ever be in. I am so sorry. What you do if you're attached to him and he's a player? Go play, go play, go be a player with somebody else and let them get attached to you. And hopefully you'll forget about them. Because like if y'all are dating players, that's y'all's fault. I mean, if you if you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna date a player, then go date one and be one yourself. Don't date one and then don't be one. If you dating a player, be a better player, be a bigger player, you know, learn from them. If you're not, I'm trying to help y'all. If you're dating a player, be a bigger player. And don't make no sense if you date one, if you ain't one. <laughs> Shoot, they might admire you. They may start admiring your game. Like, oh, yeah, you know. Don't. Don't do that to yourselves. Y'all catch feelings. Y'all then y'all start feeling sorry for yourselves. Then you think something was wrong. It ain't nothing wrong with you, but you're stupid. Ain't nothing wrong with none of y'all, but y'all catch feelings and y'all have no common sense and y'all are too young and dumb. If you treat every man like a job opportunity and a career, you will be you will be rich. I'm gonna repeat that. If y'all treat every man like y'all treat looking for a job, getting some type of degree, or getting some type of career going, y'all will be paid. Y'all sitting here treating them like they're your children, like they're your future husband or something. No, treat them like exactly what you, like a business. Treat them like a business because that's all that they need to be to you at this time until they profess their undying love for you down on one knee with the ring and all bills paid. Until then, start treating them like a business. And you will prosper, I promise you. Um, let me tell you all a secret. After okay, after you get married, or depending on who you marry, after you get married and you don't have to worry about men anymore, you got what you need, you got your kids, you got your family, you ain't trying to look for no knight in shining armor or nothing like that, you good. 
most women after they get married, after the kids get into like school and they don't have to be home all day, they start making um, either moves towards career, towards hobbies, towards talents or whatever they have. And they really excel and thrive because they're not worried about, oh, do I need to get a man? And do I need to settle down? They're not worried about it. And they can so they can do so well. Once y'all get y'all's man out the way, get him paying all the bills and you can sit there and relax and think and do whatever you got to do and become the person you're really supposed to be. None of y'all will care about what they're doing. None of y'all will care as long as everything is paid and you're in comfort and you're able to become the best version of yourself. That's all that's really going to matter. Oh, B. Gonzalez. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So. Take like once you already have, just think about it. once once you get married, got the ring, got the kids, the kids are grown up to take care of themselves. Now you've got all this free time, all these all these assets. The world is in your hands. You could do whatever you want. Get to that point. Have you ever been at that point? Have you ever been able to to do that? That's where you're trying to get. It is fun. Because of you, you have three providers and two of them invested 250K in your business. Thank you. We need Sprinkle Sprinkle Club in London. Thank you, Alina. Is it Alina? Thank you. Yes, girl, get your money. That's how you get your investments. Get men to pay for them. Hello, Christy G. Sprinkle Sprinkle. You live in a wealthy area. What should I say when I ask where I live? I don't want them to live. Just, just tell them the city you live in. Just like, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I just live on, you know. Don't give them specifics. That's none of their business. Let me tell you all something. Just because a man asks, don't mean you got to tell him. For your own safety. Oh, what side of town do you live? I'm going to tell you the opposite side. Then you can always say you moved later on. <laughs> you, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Uh oh, Alisa, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Does showing emotion work for or against you? It depends on how, what you're showing it for. What are you showing the emotions for? Are you showing it to get money or are you showing it for no reason? Are you showing it to a man you've just met who doesn't feel that way about you and won't anytime soon? When are you showing the emotion? Is it appropriate time to show emotion? Has he given you something? Has he paid some bills? Has he told you he, you know, he wants to be with you forever and that he wants to take care of you and wish your bank account so he could, uh, you know, wish your Zill or Venmo so he could give you some money? That's when you become emotional. When a man wants to take care of you and provide for you and make sure you're safe and don't want for anything. You shouldn't be getting emotional about no man unless he's doing that or has done that, period. So if, if you don't have to ask if he ain't doing it. You shouldn't be feeling emotions at all. Unless you're acting to get something. And the reason why I'm telling you all this is because these men literally depend on you to become emotional so that they can manipulate and take advantage of you. They're waiting. They're just waiting on you to soften up just a tad bit so they can get something for nothing. That ain't happening. If they get something for nothing and you treat it like it was nothing, then and you move along and on to the next one, great. But if you sit in there catching feelings, then something, you know, it's because you thought too highly of that person when they didn't think that highly of you. Okay. They didn't think of you on that level. You weren't on that level with them and you put them on a pedestal and they didn't do the same for you. So. Stop doing it. Y'all need to stop catching feelings for just anybody. Just because they like you, they tell you they hold your hand, they tell you this. The wor words don't mean you're going to catch emotions. Actions and delivering upon them actions repeatedly in a pattern to make me know that you mean what you said and you said what you meant. That's when you start allowing yourself to say, okay, well, this person might really like me. Okay. That's when y'all are jumping too fast into everything and getting hurt because you jump too fast. That's like jumping. It's like diving into shallow water. You're going to get hurt. Stop diving into shallow water. 
Okay. Y'all just met somebody. Y'all just approaching the, the beach, right? You see some, it's just because it's wet don't mean you need to die. <laughs> All right. Y'all are, y'all got to wait till y'all way out there on his yacht, on his sailboat. He proved him he got some money for you. Okay. You need to wait. Y'all are falling too quick. Then being mad because you got hurt or he ain't calling you back. Girl, you dove in shallow water. I wouldn't call you back either. Something wrong with you. <sighs> now, do y'all see how y'all look to these guys when y'all start falling for them too soon? It, it, it looks really stupid. It looks like y'all are diving into shallow water like an idiot. Don't do it. Make them work. How much money before I can catch feelings? I'm at, girl, way more than that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 1,200, way more than that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You need a couple months. You need, a, you need, it's going to, the longer it takes you to fall for them, the more money they're going to spend, the more they're going to fall for you during that time. Because you're a challenge. Uh oh, magic, sprinkle, sprinkle. So I will say, look, look you need to get 10,000 and up. Past 10,000, then you might start feeling like he might be boyfriend material or he might. Be sugar daddy. And he might, you know, be some type of long-term material. Oh, magic, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. 10K or more, depending on how much you make. If you make way more than that, then up, up the money. <laughs> up the money. If it only takes you $1,200 to catch feelings, then that's not a lot, man. It needs to be way, way more. Way more. You say he told you, you told him to buy you perfume. Ask him where it's at. Say where my perfume. <laughs> guess I have to find somebody else to get it for me. <laughs> so I guess I got to find another way to get it. Just say that. So I'll find another way to get it. Don't worry about it. You broke up with your boyfriend because he talked down all my looks that I was insecure about. He was paying all my bills. He big now. Should I take him back? Um, You know how he really feels about how you look. If he paid all your bills and he played on your insecurities, sometimes men will play on your insecurities to humble you. And so if someone is playing on your insecurities to humble you, as long as you don't think it, then it can't humble you. So. This is what I talk about self love and, you know, a lot of women need to accept themselves to know that they look good already. They don't need someone to tell them that they look good. They already know no matter what's coming out of the other person's mouth. So for example, if somebody can sit here and tell me I'm ugly all day, I'm up this and I'm that, I'm still not going to believe them. <laughs> so if you believed him, that's why you felt bad. I would never believe somebody telling me lies. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> so you could tell me you ugly, I'm ugly all day, but you paying these ugly bills. Must look good enough to pay bills for. So that must mean I look real good. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't believe you. If you paying all my bills and you begging me, I'm not ugly. Get it? <laughs> Your insecurities are your insecurities. That's why he picked them out and used them against you because they're yours. He, he probably don't even think you ugly. He just probably know that you think that you look a certain way or you feel a certain way about your insecurities. But that's what he chose to use against you because that's where you're weak. So and when you become strong in those areas and you are no longer insecure in those areas, nothing that comes out of his mouth is going to hurt you at all. So I don't really care if somebody calling me this and that because I already know that it's not true. <laughs> so you got to know it ain't true, ma'am. You got to be like, they need some glasses. They thought they they thought they ate, but they didn't. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You your your confidence should be so high no one can break it. Okay. Just how much you got to love yourself that nobody can break it. That's when you can go out and pretty much do anything. 
And that's how, that's a point to a lot of ladies need to get before they start dating. Their confidence cannot be broken. When you get out there and nobody can break your confidence, they're going to start being, you know, mesmerized by it. Okay. You say your boyfriend talks down on you every time he's upset. He does a lot for me. What would you leave? No, girl, I'm I'm gonna talk down right on him too. At the same time, we we gonna be doing tit for tat and then start laughing at each other afterward because I know none of it's true. And it's a reflection on his part if he with someone with all these flaws. So I don't believe it. I won't believe it. <laughs> Okay, you so say you're a former masculina pygmisha and now you are a fendom that takes no prisoners. Got rid of all pygmy friends and losing weight and doing your best. Okay, good for you. Pashmina, spark, spark. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. Well, I'm so glad that you are no longer a pygmisha. <laughs> so, as many times as I've said this, ladies, if you love yourself and you think you look good, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I promise you, nobody can tell you anything. Just like nobody can tell Ye anything because he believes what he believes. And he keeps doing more and more because he don't care what people think. I don't care what people think. If you start caring too much about what people think, that's when you start doubting yourself. And if you start doubting yourself, then everything else is going to start tumbling down after that. Never doubt yourself. Know who you are, accept who you are, love who you are. And whatever else is coming out of other people's mouth is simply their opinion and their problem and not yours. As long as you're getting what you want, that's all that matters. Okay? Don't let people affect how you see yourself. That's dumb. You have your own perspective. They have theirs. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you do all this if you depressed? Decide not to be depressed, ma'am. Get up and do something with yourself to make yourself look good. Look good, feel good. Get it? Look good, feel good. It starts on the outside. If you're depressed, get up and make yourself look good. Then go out, put yourself in the world, and do what you got to do. Okay? Stop making excuses. Y'all know who's supposed to be depressed? People with no food. People that have to carry buckets of water for miles every morning. Little kids. You think they are depressed? Shut up. Y'all are not depressed. Y'all are just lazy and have an excuse not to be who you're supposed to be. Y'all y'all got all these looks, excuses to be the person you're not supposed to be. Because somebody told you, oh, if you're this, then you can't do that. If you feel this way of the, the mental illness, da 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 Shut up. Get up and go do something. Okay? Ain't nobody depressed. You know why? Y'all just have too much time. It's called first world problems. Okay? Go go help some go help somebody. Go volunteer to go do something. Go go serve some soup at the soup kitchen and whatnot. Go hand out blankets to the homeless. Okay? Because as soon as somebody starts telling me they're depressed, they too privileged. <laughs> what if you're okay? Go do something then. Go pick some flowers. Go roll around in a field. Go jump on a trampoline. I don't know. Go volunteer at the homeless shelter because the first world problems. I don't deal with that. <laughs> That's what they do. Like, you know, we grew up where you couldn't you couldn't talk stupid like that. You'd be like, okay, well, we're gonna show you something. We're gonna show you what you wh why are you so that okay, let's drive to the other side of town, see how these people live in. Let's go drive by the bridge. Okay. You wanna go live like that? You sitting here in a nice house, nice cars, all everything you want, clothes, food to eat every day, and you sitting over here talking, I'm depressed. First world problem. No, ma'am. What you depressed for? That you can't find nothing else to do? No. 
go get up and volunteer and do some do some you know what they said when you don't when you don't feel good help somebody else they say when you don't feel good go help somebody else all right you got food you got water you got shelter then go help somebody else who don't all right stop smoking all that weed if you smoke weed it's, it's a depressant Stop drinking alcohol. It's a depressant. All right. Stop scrolling on Instagram, looking at people you will never look like. That's a depressant. Okay. I know in this age and society, everybody is sensitive. You can't talk about that. I just did. There you go. Oh, thank you, Kenya. Thank you. Molly, Andrea, and Autumn, and Lita, y'all all sent me cash apps. Oh, somebody sent me a hundred dollars. Hold on, let me see. Hope y'all are still here. What about conflicts? Don't address my issues. What about conflicts? What about solutions? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Focus on solutions, not conflicts. Okay, let me say thank you to these people. Okay, thank you, Molly. Thank you, girl. Sparkle, sparkle. She says for the wisdom. Okay. And thank you, on Andrea. Thank you. Thank you, Autumn. Appreciate you. Lita. Thank you, girls. Conflicts or solutions? I'm only looking at solutions because I'm not finna look at no conflicts. Guy is generous and bills paid, but goes after a few days. After our date, what should I do? Call up the other one and see if he's trying to take you out. Sparkle, sparkle. The other one should be calling up now, right? That's why you need a rotation, man. You don't need just one. You need two. That way when one goes, the other one is ready to take you out and spend some money. Sparkle, sparkle. Always have more than one. Guys don't, guys don't have this problem. They just go get another one. You be out with the next one. <laughs> so if you're getting attached that's your problem stop getting attached to, to guys unless they have totally changed your lifestyle where you don't even have to work anymore then you can get a little bit attached that's literally it and then you should know their patterns by now to not to worry that they're not that they're going to continue to come through rotation have more than one never sit there and wait by the phone man you're going to be looking stupid. Never wait by the phone. You know what? I'm going to admit this because it's just the truth. My kids, okay, I have daughters and they always ask me, have you, like, when you were younger and you had boyfriends, did you ever cheat on them? I said, of course. I said, I always had several. I always had more than one at the same time that didn't know about each other. And it doesn't mean that I was sleeping with other people. It just means because, you know, half the time when I was young, I was, I was too young, but, um, I would have I would have options in case the other the person was busy or that uh, they were probably out cheating too maybe I don't know or I wanted to go do something different I always had options I, I'm not married why I single myself out to one person that I know ain't gonna be my future husband because I'm young I'm gonna date and you can claim to be my boyfriend and I'll claim to be your girlfriend but that don't mean nothing because I'm gonna do what I want and the reason why I told them this is because. Now, how would you feel if you had given your all to one person and they did you dirty? You're going to feel real stupid. Your self-esteem is going to go way down and you're going to feel like you wasted time and you're going to hate men even more because you put so much energy and trust and loyalty into one person when you are so young and you already know they probably weren't going to do the same. You're going to be way more hurt than some chick that was already with another dude. On the side anyway, they'll be like, oh, well, hey, Siras, on to the next. You know, it helps you not to focus so much on how perfect someone is supposed to be when you know that they're not. You're single until married. Exactly. Stop doing this to y'all. So y'all doing it to y'all. Even if a man wants you to be faithful, it don't mean that's what you got to do. OK, remember, you live for you. You live for you, not him. He might want you to do something, but that don't mean that's what you got to do. Okay? 
it's an option. You could try it for a while, and if you ain't feeling it, then go do what you got to do, just like men do. Now, if you're in a marriage, in a monogamous relationship, and y'all have both promised each other to be faithful to each other, when you start seeing signs that he is not faithful, that's your sign to show him signs too. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. He starts staying out late. You start staying out late. He starts saying I'm working late. You start saying I'm working out late. <laughs> All right. And if y'all think it's a game, then let it be a game. If it's not, then it's not. But you shouldn't have to be the one to expect perfection and get less. Do what you're do what you want. Literally be smart. Protect yourself. Be be um, careful. Learn how to cheat smart. If you're going to cheat, go to the other side of town. Wait till you go out of town. Do something, ma'am. Don't be sitting up here cheating like you stupid and your IQ is below 75. Okay? Be smart about it. Respectful and smart if that's what you're going to do. <laughs> be all about yourself. Yes. If you have children, of course, take care of your kids. Make sure they have everything they need. Yes, they are the priority. But when it comes to a relationship between a woman and a man, you need to care about yourself. He's supposed to care about you. He's supposed to provide and protect for you. He's supposed to be all of this and that to you. If he's not doing that or if he's you know, lacking or if he's doing you dirty and doing you wrong, then focus on yourself because that's all you can focus on. What you're supposed to do, focus on him? No, focus on yourself always. That way... The focus is on you. If you want his attention, then you keep your own attention. You get it? If you always worried about him, then you ain't even special to yourself. Billionaires and athletes pursue me, but they want to do trips. I'm worried you're a flavor. Should I not go on them? Advice. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, um, just like, you know, I'm looking for something a little bit more um, meaningful than just a trip. I've been on, I've been so many trips. I'm, I'm looking for a little, something a little bit more meaningful. So, but you know, have fun on your vacation and maybe call me when you get back. Dismiss them like that. That way they'll know you ain't just one of them groupies that go out of town. Oh, glass slippers, sprinkle, sprinkle. A guy friend invited you to Disneyland. What should I wear? Any advice on how I should act for the best outcome? His friends and girlfriends will be there. Girl, Disney World, they are, aren't they just wearing like shorts and t-shirts in Disney World? I don't know. Wear something cute that accentuates your, I don't know, whatever your best feature is, play it up. Don't, but don't be dressing like all uncomfortable because y'all are at Disney World. Y'all be waiting in lines. It's going to be, I don't know if it's hot there yet. Y'all at Disneyland. It's going to be hot lines. Just get you some Mickey Mouse ears and get you some like cute mini skirt or shorts or something. Look, cute tank or t-shirt, whatever you be wearing. I don't know what the temperature is out there. Process and losing weight can plus size get sugar daddy. Of course, sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, it depends on what's, what, I don't know, like Sonrisa. Okay. So I would say if you go a little older, you can get, you can, you can get um, a sugar daddy. If, if you go a little older, All right, sprinkle, a lot older, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Little angel. He wants me to pay for groceries living at, with a man, but he wants to give me less because I verbally abuse him. He has spent 30K and all bills paid. He will inherit millions in real estate from his dad. Okay. Um, yeah, but how long his dad got left to live? How old he gonna be? You know what I'm saying? That's decades. Another thing is if you verbally abuse him, um, then tell him it's because I don't I don't tell him this. I don't I, I wouldn't even waste my breath arguing or talking to anyone that I didn't care for. Now, you got to worry about me when I stop talking to you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Russell, men shouldn't be asking women to pay for half. They should not. Thank you, Russell. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, I was on your live on Instagram yes, last night. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. Russell in the house. Y'all go subscribe to Russell Hartley. <laughs> people be trying to talk trash. It's like, oh, he's a, he's a misogynist. He's a man. Who he's supposed to be? A feminist? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. 
Anyway, I gave him my underwear under the table at dinner and he loved it. Any other seduction tips to play with his mind? Haven't slipped with him yet. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, now you can ask him for something, ma'am. Okay. RG, now you can ask him for a gift. Okay. Break your favorite perfume while you're on the phone with him. But just like throw a cheap Dollar Tree glass in the background. Oh my gosh, my favorite perfume just fell off the counter. Or, oh my gosh, I'm so distracted. I'm so sorry. I lost my diamond earring. <laughs> while I was talking on the phone with you, make it his fault, girl. He'll be like, Got some draws, and now I got to get some, you know. Now I feel responsible. Take, buy that perfume. I got to buy another pair of earrings. I want to get to the real deal. <laughs> That's the setup, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh oh, Russell says, Shira is a Texas beauty. All right, let me put on my hat. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. Y'all see my feather? If I tilt it, that's a pimp hat. All right. I'm going to put on my other one. Thank you, Russell. I appreciate it. This one is some more Texas. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But, you know, I did my hair, so I'm taking it off. All right. Thank you, Russell. I appreciate it. So generous. Thank you, sir. I always sprinkle, sprinkle me over here. I like money, yes. Thank you. You said explain, please. No. I missed something. Hold on. Russell always coming here, sprinkle, sprinkle at me. He's so sweet. Thank you. For no reason. Just to say hi. Uh oh, anemia. Thank you. I appreciate you. Sure, you are like the truth. Wish I knew you in my 20s. Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. You got to learn in your 20s. And if y'all are here, y'all are young, and y'all are learning and going through the experiences to collect, collect more wisdom, great. Since I already done that, I can give it to you and tell you how it really is. And then you can go out and you'll see and you'll be able to compare and be like, okay, that works, that don't work. She was said this, okay, I see it now. You know, it'll be easier to confirm. That's it. Uh oh, they're asking Russell if he's single. I don't know, ask him. He might be, he's single till he married, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Y'all are silly. You asked for 2K and he sent you his mortgage statement. That don't tell him I didn't ask for your mortgage statement. I asked for some money. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. What that got to do with you asking him for money? Ask him if he sent that by accident. Because that don't make no sense. Tell him wrong link. <laughs> How can I move in absolute silence? I want to buy. You want to say stuff only when he, when the task is complete? Okay, be busy then. Tell him you're busy. I always say you're busy doing stuff that he's supposed to have done for you. That's how I'm at Okay, what are you doing? I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can quickly make some money so that I can, you know, pay for the uh, my lifestyle. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to replace that bottle of perfume that I broke the other day while I was on the phone with you. Got to go. Oh, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I'm going to do this evening because you know I really don't have any plans yet. I mean, you haven't asked me out. Why are you calling me if you ain't trying to ask me out? 
Always be busy with stuff he's supposed to be doing for you. If you want your time, he's going to do whatever you're that's keeping you busy. <laughs> What's the right age to marry? Hmm. The age where you're done having fun and doing everything that you wanted to do and tired of working. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right, I've done everything. I went on vacations. Then did this, then did that. Then dated this person, this person. Blah, blah, blah. That's when, after you've done everything you wanted to do. <laughs> it's like retiring. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. It's like retiring, literally. You said she were in Russell saving lives one at a time. <laughs> Y'all silly. No, I'm serious. It's like when you're retiring. <laughs> From single life, that's when you get married. <laughs> like I'm tired of working and I'm tired of dating, and you'll hear me. Or if you don't have to work because you're dating like men with money, it's like I'm tired of dating all these different dudes. I'm trying to settle down with one that's gonna pay for me, so I don't have to work or worry about you know the roster for the rest of my life. I just got one good one, you know. That's when when you're done. <laughs> Were you tired? Oh, child, it's time to settle down. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because some of y'all go into marriages with no experience, no life stories to tell your children or your grandchildren. Y'all just go, oh, I met him and that was the first man I saw and gave me a compliment, took me out three, four times in a row. You know, what? Give me some stories. What? Who else you dated? That's it. No, boring. No wonder you, you know, then you get like, you don't even know what else is out there. It's like you wasted your whole life. You know, if I was, if I, you know, if you believe in reincarnation, you wouldn't want to come back as you. I'm coming back as somebody who lived. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I got stories. My kids be talking. Mama, tell me about this. Mama, tell me what about the time when you, you know, you were dating this, this, you know, in this era. Mama. <laughs> they like my story we, we literally laugh at my stories for hours and we even have like private inside jokes about some of my stories when I was younger when I was dating like, it's, it's hilarious we have some stories she wrote how to handle a provider who gives me thousands but requests things I can't do like tossing his salad <laughs> It's sucking his toes. Girl. Okay, let me tell you what to do. Order you a salad from a Salada on DoorDash. And then when you get it, set up your camera. And then, like, put the dressing on it on camera and then shake it. And then put, I'm tossing your salad. And then... Tell him he always on about sucking his toes, ma'am. Tell him you don't want to get athlete's feet in your mouth. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -mm, that's unsanitary. I ain't, I ain't licking your booty and I ain't sucking your toes. You don't have to go find somebody else to do that. I will pretend like I'm turning my cheek and not knowing who what you're doing back there uh, with, you know, with whoever you're going to pay to do that. But it ain't going to be me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. <laughs> call me when you finish. Call me when she leaves. <laughs> okay. You said, call me when she leaves. You said take him for a mani pity. <laughs> no. What do you do with the bipolar narcissist? Take his money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Duh. Keep getting his money. What the heck got to do with anything? <laughs> play into it. Fine. You know, play into it. 
you know, you're the only one, the only man that would ever put up with me. I don't know what I would do without you. That's why I need you to pay this bill. Yeah. Girl, play on this ego. I don't know. Do you think a 27-year-old man with by with a black man? Do you think a 27-year-old man with a BM can actually move? Oh, baby mama can actually move on with someone else and get married. I'm 26 and girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. Too young. He too young. Go get you an old man whose kids is grown, who ain't on child support no more. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, he going to be back and forth with that baby mama all the time. When you get mad, that's what he going. She's going to try to get him back if he try to get attached, especially if she ain't got no man. Y'all are too young. Go get you a old man whose children are grown, who ain't on child support. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you wasted your time. Okay. What do you do with a manipulative Dusty? Take him to his mama house and drop him off and never and never turn back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> Why would you even be arguing with a Dusty? They don't even make sense. Dusties are supposed to be pits. They're supposed to do whatever you say or else you can kick them out. <laughs> don't argue with nobody broke. What you doing? That doesn't even make sense. You sitting over here wasting your time and energy because time is money and you sitting over there arguing with somebody broke who ain't even got no money to even give you for wasting your time arguing with them. What you doing? The whole point of arguing is to get money. Get rid of them. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I am wearing Lawless. They were so sweet to send me a big old PR package of lipsticks and filler lip plumper. So thank you so much. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't even know what color this is. Fawn. Fawn and coming up roses. Lip filler. Uh, forget the filler. Lip plumper. By Lawless. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The whole point of arguing is to get money, for real. If you're going to sit there and waste your time arguing with a grown man about this, this, and that, it better end with some money, with some apologies with some money. Otherwise, you could just cry, go in another room, and text the other one. <laughs> it's an honor for a woman to even argue with you because that means she kind of cares and wants something from you that you're not giving to her. If you stop arguing with you and just go in there and start texting somebody else, then you got to worry. All right? So have your money ready. <laughs> now, okay, so y'all have to realize when y'all are young and y'all are dating for fun, there's two types of dating. Dating for fun, getting to know someone, and dating for funds. OK, there's two types of date. Depending on how mature you are and what level you are in your life is the type of dating you're going to be doing. So if you're young, exciting, haven't dated much, just trying to get a feel for what's out there and live your life and have exciting you know, dates and stuff like that. You're dating for fun. When you're older, maybe at past the age of like playing around and now you want lifestyle versus fun lifestyle and fun at the same time great maybe you can find a middle ground there but when you are dating for lifestyle then you start dating for funds that means the, do the man have money can he spend if you need him do he got you get it so can he improve your lifestyle when you get to a certain level of maturity, you stop dating for fun and you start dating for funds. And if fun should come along with it, great. But that's not the only reason you're going to be dating. How to not catch feelings in open relationship. Girl, the key word is open. 
If somebody dare fix their mouth to say we in an open relationship, I would never have feelings for them. Period. You won't even start to have any type of feeling. The only, the only time I'm going to feel upset is when my money ain't where it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be there. You, you remember, we accept things or we don't. So if you're not accepting that as a real relationship, then you should not have no real feelings. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. If the relationship is open, I have no feelings for you. Okay. Other than like any type of, you know, uh, thing that's keeping you there financially or, you know, for family, that doesn't, that still doesn't mean you have feelings. It just means, you know, it is what it is. So if, if you, if, if a man fixes his mouth to say we're in an open relationship, I have no feelings for him. Except where my money at. <laughs> Think about it. Um, therefore, never develop feelings. Just develop your bank account, your savings, your investments, and keep and keep it moving, or keep keep your money growing. Don't invest in him emotionally. Let him invest in you financially. And y'all forget, ladies, eventually, if you ever have children, you're going to be able to pour all that love and nurturing and emotion that you were trying to give to some man that really did not deserve it into your children. And they will actually appreciate it. All right. <laughs> and you're still going to be getting paid. That's what you got to do. Some of y'all are out here trying to take care of dusty pets, uh, emotional support people. Y'all are trying to give your feelings away to men who don't even want them. Save that for your children. Or if you don't have children, save that for your real pets at home. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all, y'all just have so much love and emotions to give away and nobody even wants half of it most of the time. And y'all be sad because people are rejecting your love and emotion that they don't even want, that they didn't even ask for. And then you're disappointed because you gave all this love and emotion that they didn't even want in the first place, that they didn't even ask for. And you feel like you bought, you feel like that you've been cheated out of what you were supposed to get in return, but nobody asked for it in the first place. You feel like you gave 100% and you gave all of this and nobody even wanted it in the first place. They didn't ask you for it. You gave willingly and now you hurt because you gave too much that nobody even wanted. So stop giving it away for free. Stop feeling and catching feelings for men who don't even want you to catch feelings for them. And then trying to turn the whole situation around and blame it on that man who never asked you to feel a certain way about him in the first place. But you did because that's what you think you're supposed to be doing and falling in love and stuff. And nobody even wanted your love in the first place. They just wanted to, you know, get you in the bed and tell you goodbye after a few days. But now you all hurt and sad because you gave too much and nobody even asked you for it. Think about it. It's really true. It's really you're not supposed to give all that for free. It ain't free. You gave it away like it was free. So it's worthless. I'm going to repeat that. If y'all out here loving and giving up emotional feelings and catching feelings for men and all this stuff for free, it's worthless. It's worthless. You ever be in like people trying to give you free samples and you'd be like, no, thank you. I don't want it. No, thank you. I don't want it. Because you don't want it because it's worthless. They're just, trying to, it's, it, they're just trying to get you in there for a whole other reason. No, I don't need it. I don't want it. If it's free, I probably don't want it. Unless it's free, like, you know, for a whole other reason. But most of the time, people don't want it. People don't want it if it's free. Nobody wants stuff if it's free. Think about it. They've done social experiments with this. They will, they will take the same item and give it out as a free sample or have the same item for sale in a luxury shop. And people will pay $3,000 for the free sample item. Why? Because it's worth more. Why? Because it's not free. So think it. Think it. Not free. My feelings are not free. My emotions are not free. Catching feelings for you is not free. They got to earn that. 
So y'all out here giving away free stuff that nobody values and then mad because nobody valued it. Let me tell y'all. Business. Stand on your business. <laughs> nobody wants free junk. Treat yourself like a business. Market yourself like a business, not like some free samples. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> now, that also goes with, with clothing and how you dress and how you present yourself and how you act and the words that come out of your mouth. If I can get everything out of you for free, why would I give you money? If I can see your booty for free because you're wearing booty shorts or some skin tight clothes and twerking everywhere, I don't need to see you strip. I don't need to see you naked. If if I could get your whole life story out of you by the second or first date, I don't need to get to know you any longer. You boring. I already know your life story. Why are you the way you are? There's no mystery there. If you know, if you fall in love with me off the three dates or, you know, two dates or whatnot. I don't need you. You're not a challenge no more. You ain't wifey because you fall in love with everybody. You see? So y'all have to stop doing this. Y'all are just giving yourselves away for free, telling y'all business to everybody who asks you a question. You got to tell them the exact truth. They don't. You're free. He asking for selfies and sends me selfies. How should I respond? Send him a selfie of, of an ATM and tell him, uh, send you some money. Spring, spring. See, this is another thing about giving stuff away free. Stop giving away pictures for free. If he has your social media or whatever, he knows what, what you look like. If you got a picture on a website, he knows what you look like. Send him the same picture over and over of the picture on your profile until he get the clue in the hand that you ain't finna keep sending him no pictures for free. The only picture that's for free is the one you've seen in the first place. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You want you want some pictures and pay for me to go have a photo shoot. <laughs> you know what? I've been wanting to take some new pictures. So, you know, I want to uh, hire a photographer for a professional photo shoot. So, you know, it's about this much money and I'll give you all the pictures you need. Oh, Tatiana, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. You've noticed that your husband seems less interested in intimacy, even though we only see each other every other week. I'm also looking for ways to improve my financial savings for money. He gives any advice. Okay, first of all, you're the woman. You're not supposed to care if he wants you sexually or not. You're supposed to be so sexy anyway that any man wants you sexually. And if he don't, then great. Good for him. Either he's out looking at other women or he's just not interested anymore because it's the same old boring stuff. Change your look up, man. Get you some wigs and some costumes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I mean, wouldn't you get bored of seeing the same thing every day? I'm not saying you're ugly or anything. I'm just saying change it up a little bit. Get a, get some interest. Men like variety. Okay? Get you some wigs, man. Get you some wigs. Get you some wig, girl. Get you some little feather slippers. A little bougie housewife. Uh, Sheer robe with a little teddy underneath. Get you a wig. Work. Put your makeup on. He come home to that. He gonna be. He gonna be ready. If you look the same every day, it's boring. I mean, I get bored looking at myself looking the same every day. I got to change it up. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But oh, all things divine. If you're regularly going on dates with a man, he wants to have sex, but you're not ready. What to say when he doesn't? So he doesn't lose interest. Tell him you will be ready in the future and give him a date. And three weeks from now, book the hotel. And then you got three weeks to get his money. Then something going to happen where you can't make it. And then he got to start all over. <laughs> make him think you want to give it to him, man. Just because something could come up and stop you from being able to. But he don't need to know that. Thank you, Brittany. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Lorena. Lorena. He agreed to provide, said it's normal, but then offered to lend you money when you had an issue. Lend? <laughs> Ignored him. Now he keeps calling me how to get the money. Tell him you don't take loans. You take gifts. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 
It's like, I, I'm not going to be able to pay you back. So it's just going to have to be a gift. Never take a loan from no grown man. He can't give it to you. That's not the one. Sorry. <laughs> I don't care how you, you shouldn't be asking people for for money, if they're going to offer you a loan, do never take the loan. Say, I'm not taking this as a loan because I will never be able to pay it back. So you're going to have to just gift it to me. Use those words because these guys out here, now you owe them. Now they can harass you all the time. No, either give it to me or I'll get it somewhere else. Okay. Tell him that. Say, I'm not taking a loan, but I'll take a gift. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Only Pygmishas and Barbara the Builders take loans. All right. Don't never take a loan. Take a gift. When somebody says, I'll give you a loan, it means to me, it's, it, they just told me I was ugly. And I so I go back in the mirror. I go back in the closet and, and change clothes, wigs, and makeup and come back. If somebody telling me they're going to give me a loan, I didn't do something right. I got to go back in the mirror. Fix myself up. Okay, the lipstick was wrong. Hold on. Let me switch out the wig. Some more contour. Mm -hmm. Okay, wear that push-up bra. All right, now I'm finna go get my money. Okay? I ain't getting ready to take no loan. I mean, something's wrong with me. I got to go back to the drawing board. The gift. <laughs> and pull, out, pull out the push-up, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's my thing. If you if you think of yourself as like okay, if you're presenting yourself in order to get something, it's kind of like you know, you're trying to if you're a salesperson and you look good. Most guys are going to buy whatever you're selling. They don't matter what it is. They, they just want you to, to be impressed by what they can do, right? So that's why they always use women for sales tactics. All right, you got this ugly woman trying to sell you something, or you got this woman trying to sell you something that look like who did it and why, or, you know, blah, or real too plain. You're not, you don't care if to impress that chick or not. So you ain't going to really buy nothing. Well, that's not in my budget. But if this woman looking cute, got on high heels, boo, pumped up, Hair, good looking, smelling good, you know, got plenty of options. You're going to be trying to impress her by saying, oh, yeah, I can afford that. Let me go ahead and get it. Don't even need it. Okay. That's the difference. That's how you get money. <laughs> you got to look the part. You said, took my advice, made sure you was super cute. Going to apartment tours and I snagged an NBA player. Tips on to get him hooked and spending. Girl, sparkle, sparkle. Um, play dumb a lot. Let him teach you stuff. Um, that way he don't think he was a groupie. Oh, oh, collective, sparkle, sparkle. How do you give gifts to him in marriage? What's, what's his gifts? Like, okay, whatever he buys you, make sure it's way less expensive than what he paid for your gift. So if he spent 200, you spend 20. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Um, well, congrats on getting an NBA player. Just play, kind of play down with him. Let him, let him teach you stuff so he don't think you a groupie. <laughs> Oh, you so strong. You so tall. I'm going to watch your game. <laughs> I never was really into basketball, but you make it now. It's fun to watch because I get to see you run up and down the court. How to not be overly emotional. Don't care. Attach whatever you're feeling to his wallet. If he doesn't have feelings enough to care for your emotions and how you feel, why do you have them for him? That's how. Right. 
So let's say the guy's real nice. He's attractive. He's treating you nice. Maybe he bought you a nice dinner, complimented you, maybe bought you a small gift or some jewelry or whatever. He's trying to get you to feel more than what you're feeling for him, right? Or if y'all are already in a relationship and you feel more for the guy than they feel for you, remember, they got to like you way more so that you can get what you want, so that your life can be improved. Because a man is only going to improve the life of a woman he likes a lot. Not just a little bit, but a lot. So it has to be, okay, if there was a scale, he got to like you way more than you. like. had to be like this. Because when y'all start getting married, start hanging around each other, your feelings are going to grow and his may start leveling out. But it still needs to be like this. Get it? So after years of marriage, it's still... He still likes you way more. That's how you do it. Okay? You got to start off. You got to start off way up here. He got to like you this much. You got to like him like barely. Because after years and years, he starts doing like this. And if you level up and switch your wig out a couple times, it's going to go it's gonna go right back. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. You get it? Now y'all get it? I need the visual aids. Okay. I come home to the same thing every day. She looked like the same woman every day. Oh, what's that wig? Uh oh, what's them heels? What's that outfit? Is that is that latex? Is that leather? Wait a minute. Okay, you see? I like her way more. Whatever, I do what I want. Blah, 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 blah. Oh well, I'm gonna go do something else. You see? If you keep, if you are the same, he's going to get bored. Then you're going to start like, hey, where are you at? Why aren't you texting me? He's going to be like, I'm busy. He's going to be out in the bar. Oh, look at that chick with the blonde hair. Oh, look at that chick with the red hair. Oh, look at that chick with no, no hair. What's that hair? Girl, it's the same color. Look the same every day. Switch your wig. You can throw an accent in there if you can. Shoot. <laughs> so he come home, you need to have a whole accent. <laughs> you say it looking like a cartoon character. Exactly. You're hurt. Can I move on? Like being alone. Yeah, stop being hurt. Stop giving too much love and attention and, and emotion and you will never be hurt again. Don't give it unless they're giving it to you even 10 times more with money. That's how you never get hurt again. Best thing you can do is say, I was dumb. I was stupid. Suck it up. Move on. And never repeat. That's it. Uh oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sheer, my birthday is Friday, and both male co workers gave me gifts and flowers. Okay, Dominique, thank you, girl. Uh oh, is you a Pisces too? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Pisces season. Girl, I hope you have a, a good birthday. Yeah, Jay, get over it and just never give, give your emotion and, and feel for somebody until they do that for you times 10. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Uh, you slept with a guy offering to be a provider. He's giving you money, but we aren't official in any relationship yet. Do you think I messed up my chance? Okay, just get his money, man. He's, uh, he's offering to give you money. Is he still giving you money or he ain't giving you no more money? And if he stopped, go and move on to the next one, ma'am. They're still asking for the money. If you, He'll tell you if you ruined your chance or not, whether he give it to you or not. Then you know it's time to move on or it's time to get your money. All right. That's literally, that's all you got to do. Ask for the money. See, he's going to still provide. If he says no, then on to the next. Don't waste time. Could have, should have, would have. You already did it. Move, move along. Okay. So you're going, don't, don't cry over spilt milk unless, you know, they going to help you do whatever you we're supposed to be getting help with in the first place. Don't don't sit here and think too much about it. It's, what's done is done. You belong. Okay. How do you ask for boyfriends to start giving me money? 
boyfriend, he should already be paying bills, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So you're my boyfriend. You're my man, right? Then here goes some bills. <laughs> you're supposed to help improve my life. This ain't we. This ain't equal. We ain't equals. You gotta like me way more. <laughs> if you don't like me way more, then we can't do anything. We can't be together. That's how it has to work. Now, I know some of y'all are used to this, liking each other exactly the same. But remember, it don't stay like this. You're going to do something annoying, you're going to like you less. He going to do something annoying, you're going to like him less. He's going to go find someone else, you're going to be still looking for him. Because now you've grown emotionally attached and he hasn't. So never stay on equal levels. They got to like you way more. Oh, he proposed to me, but he doesn't help me with money. Girl, I'm not getting ready to marry no dusty. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You should have said no. Take take his proposal back and tell him you ain't finna get married to him no time soon because he broke. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, take it back, ma'am. If he gave you a ring, keep it and tell him that that's for wasting your time. But tell him you ain't finna marry no broke man. If you want, if he wants your hand in marriage, tell him to go find some money. <laughs> nope, it's not happening. Women are when women get married, they're supposed to marry up, not down. You marry if you get married to some man who ain't paying for you, that's your fault. Don't do it. Don't get married just to say you married. Because I would rather say I'm single with man paying bills than I'm married to some dusty. Get it? Don't you do it? <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle. Does anyone know why men tells me to take down his number instead of asking for mine? Because he wants you to chase him, girl. Say, I don't take men's numbers. You want you want to reach me? You ask for mine. And if I and if I want to give it to you and let you know how to reach me, then I will. Okay. I'm not taking down your number. I look like your secretary. You better ask for mine and see if you're worthy. See, that is the approach where men try to tell you what to do. So they think, okay, it's a command. She's just going to automatically do it because I'm speaking with a command. Okay. That don't work on everybody now. Okay. Take down my number. I'm just going to be like, I'm going to be like this. Okay. I ain't going to look at the phone. I'm be like, all right. You didn't take down my number. Okay. You want my number? Then you need, you know, you need to act like it. And I won't be calling and chasing behind no man. So I ain't gonna use it anyway. Unless you write it on some money. Preferably a hundred. Write it on some money. Not no one either. Not no two, not no five, not no ten, not no twenty, a hundred. <laughs> send it through a cash app. They got the part where you can message me when you send the money. Thank you. Your boyfriend didn't suggest to pay for your flight to his city. Don't go. Say, I'm not going unless you're paying. Not going unless you're paying. Not going unless you're paying. I don't know why y'all are afraid to say stuff. Because I wouldn't even be claiming him if he couldn't afford to fly me out. Like I wouldn't even be claiming him if he lived in a whole other city. Because that's not even a real relationship. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I'm like, that's just some dude. That ain't my boyfriend. If he if he ain't paying all my bills, if I don't see him every day or at least every other day, if I can't drive to his house and he can't drive to mine, that's not my boyfriend. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you said boyfriend wants to keep all our money together once we're married. Okay, well, get you a separate account and put $20 in there every two weeks. 
and keep your own money separate. And tell him that's all you can bring it to the table. Twenty dollars every two weeks, and make sure you get it from his cash back when you go grocery shopping with his card. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, why y'all marrying these dusties? Don't put your money together with no man. Unless it's just for for act. He got a hundred dollars in there, and that's all I'm putting in ever. I would never be making no more deposits. <laughs> you can put my name on account, but I ain't gonna be making no deposits. Or maybe some withdrawals. Don't do it, ma'am. Tell him no, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna be doing that. That's stupid. That's that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of you know give if he if y'all if you need money from your man give him the opportunity to do direct deposit into your bank account or into an account you could just take out of and don't have to deposit anything into all right because he could get mad at you one day or some chick could come along and he might fall in love and while you out working hard and she might want a down payment to a new car and there go your money don't be dumb, ma'am. Do not be dumb. I promise you. Men will spend your money on another woman faster than you can tie your shoe. Don't do it. Don't be dumb. All right. If you that dumb, you don't belong on this channel. Have your own account on the side. Uh-oh, Mario. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You didn't expect the proposal he invited you to Germany. Oh, Maria, girl. I had to zoom in, girl. I thought I said Mario. Okay, Maria. Sorry. You didn't expect the proposal he invited you to Germany to meet his friends. Then he proposed to me next to his family and friends. I had to say yes. Girl, I would have said, where was it even a good, nice ring? But the beautiful thing about a proposal is you can change your mind the next day the next week the same day of the wedding sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> all right you can all you can have a long engagement where he buying you stuff if you're if he's if he's not going to pay for anything then you can use that whole time to go and date other men and look for other men so that when you do break off the engagement, you can have a smooth transition. Because if, if he's trying to make you pay and pay for stuff in the marriage, you don't need to be in married to him. Yeah. I'm teaching y'all to be superficial. Exactly. Because that's what men pay attention to. Superficial things. Because a man never went up to a woman and said, I love you no matter what you look like. I love what's in your heart. And I love you know, everything about you on the inside. No man will ever say that unless he blind and lives alone. Okay. So yes, I'm teaching y'all to be superficial because if you're not superficial, when it comes to these men, they will be superficial to you and you won't feel stupid when you ain't given the same type of energy right on back. Okay. Stay superficial so that you can stay paid. But when you let your true personality out, your true self, your true feelings, the man will have earned it. You don't give it away for free. Otherwise, it is worthless. Okay. Okay. You said men are visionary. Yeah, men are visual creatures. So, of course, we're going to have to be superficial. Duh. You're not, you're not going to try to ask out a, a woman looking like who did it and why, are you? It, ta it take money to look good. You think looking good is free? <laughs> it's not free. Especially dating somebody who can't pay for dinner. You gonna, Even if you look good naturally, you ain't going to sit up next to no dude that has his hand out at bill pay time. You look too good for that. Okay? Why should a beautiful woman reach in her purse to pay for some dusty or half the bill with, when she's sitting with some man? She's too pretty for that. She doesn't have to do that. That is superficial, and that is the world we live in. Uh-oh, the butterfly goddess. What does it mean if he waits three days to text you after you gave him his number? It means he didn't work hard enough for it. Sparkle, sparkle. 
All right. It means the man did not work hard enough for that number. It means he's trying to give you time to miss him. It means that at least he texted you and you had time to talk to the other ones. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I wouldn't even be offended. I'd be like, hey, how you doing? I really wouldn't care because I'd be too busy with the other one. Uh oh, Alex. Sure, I have a hard time opening up and have attachment issues. Like he becoming a distant. He still gives me gifts, which I really should I really care. Are you getting what you need? Is bills being paid? Are you getting gifts? Or do you have time to date other men? Don't get attached, man. Get attached to the finance. Stop caring if they don't care for you. If they don't care more for you, you don't care for them at all. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. If they don't care more for you, you don't care for them. So don't even start. Don't even try. It's not worth it. Why? Because you're the only one care that's caring. Okay? That looks dumb on y'all's part. Stop doing it. If they're not doing the most, bending over backwards for you, doing the most for you, then you shouldn't have any feelings for them whatsoever. You said, Shira, your advice is really helpful and it works. Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Best way to stay detached is to have more than one. Or to have so much focus that you will never be attached because that's not your goal. Okay. So, see, y'all's goal is, oh, I want to be wifey. they supposed to want you to be wifey. You're not supposed to want to be wifey. They're supposed to want you to be wifey. Or they're supposed to want you to stay in their life long term. Or they're supposed to want you to commit first. You know how the dudes that y'all be straying along say, I want to be in a committed relationship or I want you to be my girlfriend. That's how it starts off, right? They ask you to be their girlfriend. But then at some point in between, these women start having more feelings for the man than the man actually has for her. And then it turns into, I want him to propose. You see how it's different? He wants you to be his girlfriend. And then the power shifts in that relationship where you begging him uh, to propose, or you're trying to get tips on to get him to propose. Okay. So he just wanted to be your boyfriend. He don't want to be your husband. You get it? But you want him to be your husband or your fiance. That means your feelings are too much now. Get it? That's why you're supposed to have more than one. That way you don't care if he's your fiance or not because you got options. He's supposed to want to be the fiance, ma'am. How do you ask? Okay. Hey, honey, sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you ask him for a couture dress, $4,000 for a competition? He wants to be my boyfriend. Okay. Tell him. Tell him every guy that you have dated in your past have been providers and helped you along with your competitions. And that, you know, in order to understand the lifestyle that you live, he's going to have to get with the lifestyle by improving the lifestyle or maintaining the lifestyle that you live. Otherwise, it's not really going to mix because you need sponsors and you need people to help you get your um, dresses and things like that. And usually you only date providers that it's not even a problem for and they actually offer to help you. And so then he'll either do it or he, if he can, he will. If he can't, he's going to let you go. Or help you find a way to get some money. I don't know, but just tell them how it is. Oh, S, sprinkle, sprinkle. Eight figure boyfriend want baby before marriage. I strongly disagree. He's offering dream house and looks cars in my name. Should I compromise or stand on it? Um, the only way I would do that if he is telling you all that, the only way I would ever do that is for you to have full custody of the child. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell him, uh, tell him if he only if he signs over full custody to the child. To you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because no marriage. Then he don't deserve it. He will have his baby, but the baby going to have your last name and you're going to have full custody of it. And he can buy you all that stuff if he wants to. But see, if you break up or he tries to take the baby away from you or whatever, whatever, then he won't be able to do so if you have all the custody. So, no, I, I wouldn't. 
if you are trying to get his money, his, he has more lawyers, um, more money than you to fight you in court for custody at the end of the day. So get full custody of the child. The child have your last name. Then get you some money in your bank account before you even have the baby in a separate account. That way, if he is trying to act stupid and dumb, you got money and you could just bounce. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There you go. I bet you he won't agree to that. <laughs> That's how you know he's already planning something sinister if he won't agree to it. Okay. I missed the question. Hold on. Let me scroll back up. Okay, Nita or Nilda says a guy is ready to buy a house. How do you politely ask for your name to be on the paperwork? Tell him, say, when are we going to the signing? I'm going with you. I'm going to be on the paperwork. Just tell him. And if he says, no, you're not, then there's your answer, man. He don't want you to be. That means he ain't taking you seriously. Okay. Sorry, that, that was an old question. I probably didn't answer Okay. Uh, Aminia says, a man wants to be with you, but also mess around with other women. Can I make him jealous without messing with other people too? Yeah, just by doing whatever you do and collecting your money and, and ignoring him and what he's doing because you really don't want him because you don't have real feelings for him. You make him jealous by being more into yourself than you are into him. Okay. Uh, let's see. You're okay. All things divine says you're regularly going on a date with a man and he wants. Okay, I already read that one. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on all these. Um, dang, hold on. Okay, Sierra says, you value my advice. You live in a small city, but your goal is to marry a provider. Is online dating an okay option or should I, what should I do? I'm 28. Okay. Um, if you live in a small town, go find the biggest businesses in that town. See who the owners are. See if they single. See if they got any sons that's gonna take over the business. Um, look for the franchise owners in the area of the businesses. If you can't find any, because I don't know how small your town is, then maybe go online and look for the one that looked like he got the most money. And then go for that. Go for that. Go. <laughs> how do you ask him for okay? I already asked. Answer that. Answer that. Okay, sexy mommy says every time I ask him for money, he sighs in a very annoying how to handle it. I don't care. I'll do sigh all you want. Just get your money. <laughs> every time he asks for sex, sigh. <laughs> every time he asks to, to see you, sigh. <laughs> okay, you know a woman that's 47 just got married for the first time and she's trying to have her first kid now. She had her fun sugar daddies in the past and regrets it now. What should she have done better? Okay, she's 47 trying to have a kid. Have her, have her sugar daddy hire a surrogate. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Okay, the butterfly goddess. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If you gave your number easily due to being in a rush, how can you make up for that? Okay, when they text, ask who it is and then leave them all red for a couple of minutes and then say, oh, how have you been? When are you taking me out again? I had fun. Tell him he's taking you out, girl. <sighs> Hopefully they call you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. I think I've, I read all the ones that I missed. Okay. 
Don't listen to these dusties. Never listen to a man who can't pay your bills. Never listen to, let me repeat this. I, I need to make a whole video entitled it. Never listen to a man that can't pay your bills. Oh, a 60 year old man wants to marry you. You're 23 and he takes care of me, but my family judgment. Girl, I don't care about no family judge. Are they going to judge them bills when they come in? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do what you want. It's your life. You don't live for them. You live for you. Thank you, Monet. Girl, hand hand your family who judging you all them bills and tell them if he, if, if, if they could pay all them bills, you're going to marry them. <laughs> Bet you they'll say, oh, congratulations, ma'am. What y'all want where y'all registered. We don't care what they think. Do what you want, man. It's your life. You're the one that's going to have to live the rest of your life struggling or living the lifestyle that you want. They don't have to live it. They can judge you. They can do whatever they want. But they don't have to walk in your shoes. Okay, sunshine. Thank you. Thoughts on living together before marriage. If marriage is the goal, he pays for everything. As long as you don't start cooking and cleaning and washing his underwear, as long as he's still catering to you and you're not no domestic help. I think you're, I think you're good. It's, it's good to get to know somebody before you marry anyway, because you might not like them or they might not like you. Or if you are used to each other before you marry, it makes it even better because it's not no surprises. All right. Are men attracted more to dark side feminine energy or nice side feminine energy? Um, both. They're attracted to both because you have to be both in order to get what you want. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Are you attracted to an, a man who's overly nice all the time and gives you everything you want and doesn't ever say anything negative and just like a robot? No, you need both. Or you you like a man who's gonna who, who say something every once in a while that makes you think, like, hmm, or you know, show a little testosterone every once in a while. You need that. You need both. Y'all are always trying to do one over the other. It's both. You need both. You need dark and light. You need night and day. What if, what's the difference? You need to pull it out when you need it. Okay, you need a break and gas. Pedals. Sprinkle, sprinkle, okay. <laughs> Both. What is dark side energy mean? It means when, when you ain't finna take no BS. That's what that means. Okay. Back in the old days, before women had rights, they had to manipulate in order to get men to do what they wanted. They had to coerce them and trick them and all this kind of stuff. It's natural. Okay. When the scales are unbalanced, that's what happens naturally, okay? Naturally, that's what happens. When, when people are oppressed naturally, they find a way. When people aren't oppressed, then they find a way to thrive in their relaxation and in their living their best life. But either way, people going to thrive. They're not giving up. Dark, light, whatever. They're going to make it in this world. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. When you need a, when you have a relationship, if you can't get it because get something done by being nice, then you switch over. Then you start acting a fool. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, okay, you don't listen to nice. I see. Bring out the dark side. You see? So it takes both sides of a woman to get to where she needs to get in the world. So it's like it takes both sides of a man to be successful. Y'all always trying to do one thing over the other. Pit this against that. It's not. It works together. Okay? You ever seen a good woman? Mm -hmm. And how they ended up bad, right? In a bad situation. How to initiate contact call text while remaining the prize? Um... Hopefully they like you enough to remember you to call and text you. If not, you aren't memorable. Be more memorable next time you meet someone. Okay. If you if, if you blend into the background or blend in with everybody he's met that day or that week, he probably ain't gonna call you because you don't stand out. 
you need to have you need to be able to stand out, not just as looks either, but in personality and style and how you carry yourself, how you walk and talk. How can you break up with someone without hurting them? Um, lie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Lie to them. Tell them you, I can't marry you. I'm so sorry. And he's gonna be like, why? And he can be like, because I'm gay. <laughs> Tell him you're a lesbian girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell him you're gay. Tell him you can't help it. Uh -oh. <laughs> then he really won't be hurt. He'll be like, I can't help it. I tried. It's just not feeling anything. Do you ask for money every link? Or only when I actually need? I ask for it all the time because you're going to need it sooner or later. And you might as well get him in the habit of giving it to you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you say he's going to get turned on. Girls start dressing up like a guy then. Tell them you're going through a transition. How do you know someone is a provider right away without? They got to spend, man. You can't know if someone is a provider right away without spending, without them spending. So they have to want to spend on you. They have to actually spend on you for you to know. There's no way to know unless they actually provide actions. Okay. There's no way to know until they start providing. So they ain't they are they doing more talking and spending, then that's the red flag. I tell y'all, when I first met James, my husband, he was talking. I wasn't even listening to nothing he was saying because my my drink was empty. Until he asked me what I'm having to drink, that's when my ears opened up. Because I, I can't, I'm not talking to no dude unless they start to spend. Okay. I'm ignoring you. I'm planning outfits in my head. I don't even hear you. I'm just, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, would you like another drink? Sure. They, they catch on quick when you were only respond when they offer things to you or talk about what they seem to do for you. Oh, Michelle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I need to get married this year. How can I do this? Girl, find somebody need a green card, sprinkle, sprinkle, unless that's you. Then find somebody old and desperate. They got a little money. Uh-oh, Tati test, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Go. They should have a website, you know, find, get your green card here, ma'am. Uh-oh, Michelle, good luck. What do you say when they ask about body count? Tell them you haven't killed nobody. No matter what they say. Okay. Accidentally seemed too excited or eager early in. How can I fix it and make him work to get to me instead? Ignore him, ma'am. Give him time to miss you and ignore him and have him wonder if he did something wrong. If, if you follow him on social media, maybe like a couple of things every once in a while to let him know that you're still kind of interested, but kind of like distance yourself a little bit until he comes to chase you. Because if he ain't chasing you, then eh, he probably don't want to. If, if any grown man is asking a woman about their body count, they don't have enough money in their bank account because rich men don't ask questions like that. Okay. And I already know he's not a bill payer. That one lady asked, how do you know a provider from, you know, from the start? If he asked that question, he's not providing. So that's when you just end the conversation right then and there. Okay. When a man asks you, what's your body count? He is not a provider. <laughs> okay. That's a red flag. 
Oops, not a provider. Got to go. Get on up. Exit the building. Yep, that's that's a red flag and that's dust. You you get up immediately and walk. Should I be single? What? You asked for my you asked your boyfriend for money and he says I'm using him. Okay, and then when he asks you for sex, say no. You're using me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hmm. Y'all not y'all know how to do it. Don't don't let him sleep with you no more, girl. Go ask another man for some money. I bet you they won't be thinking you're using them. They like, they'd be happy to give it to you. Yes. How much do you need? Okay. He asks, what's your body count? My question is, what's your bank account? Exactly. Nobody wants to talk to no dusty that asking them dumb questions. Okay. I'd be like, you know, my body count is more than what's in your bank account. I'm very sure because that's a dusty question. So I know you broke. <laughs> Probably don't even have a bank account. Probably got a Walmart card to reload. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't even know y'all. Y'all entertain these men who ask these dumb questions. Like y'all are literally telling me. Straight up, when a man asks you that, that y'all are talking to dust. Improve on your type or the type that you're attracting. Because that's a dusty question. Never have I been asked that question and went out on a date with a man that has real money. Ever. 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 That's how you know you with a dusty. Body count only matters to Dusties. You know why? Because they have one thing to offer you. And they need to know if they have a lot of competition before they start planning how to do do something to you to try to get you hooked on a dust. Okay? That's the only reason that Dusty needs to know your body count. If they know how how they got to do how many push-ups, they got to do some squats in the gym. They got to make sure they, they leg ain't going to cramp up while they trying to put in work to impress you because that's all they have to offer. They don't have nothing else to offer. So they need to know exactly how experienced you are, how hard they got to go in to try to sleep with you, to get you hooked in order to get your tax return check to flip. Real men don't need to know your body count because you ain't with them just for the D. Now, I hope that helps y'all. Sparkle, sparkle. Any advice on dating an older man whose sex drive is lower than the young man you used to date? Date them both. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Date them both. Have a sugar, uh, have a sugar daddy and a side dude. Make sure your side dude got money still, or accept it and do something else with your time. I don't know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I would definitely just get one on the side, man. Okay. Yep, they need to know how much they need to put in. They need to know if they need to take some extra protein. They need to know if they need to do some extra sit-ups. She be on that. That means I don't have to really put it. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to build up on my protein. I have to build up on my stamina. But if she didn't have a lot, that means that's gonna take extra for me. To try to get her hooked. And I can't get her hooked if she already, it's not a big deal to her no more. But if she had two or three, I can get her hooked. If she had five or ten, you know, I would never win. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. That's why them Dusties ask y'all that. Have y'all not realized it? They need to know how hard they got to go to hook you. But if you've already had every type of guy that you could imagine, rich, dusty, Fine, tall, thin, skinny, short, every race or whatever. They're going to be like, dang. 
there's nothing I can offer her anymore because she's already probably had better than me. So now all that's left is some money and lifestyle. So whenever someone asks you your body count, they're trying to see how hard they got to put in work. Okay? It's a dusty question. Never answer it. Unless you want to see him perform. <laughs> okay. How to make him choose me again after showing him desperate girl? You know, if he don't want you, just move along, man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. If he don't chasing you already, he don't want you anyway. He don't want you. Go find somebody that wants you way, way more so you don't have to ever ask this question to anyone ever again. A man should be after you, chasing you, trying to buy you gifts to get you back. Otherwise, they don't they don't want you and they they done. I'm trying to help y'all. Move along and get go find somebody that's still that that's crazy about you from the start. Okay? That way you don't have to ask that question how to get them back because you just I disrespect James all the time. He's still chasing. Because I guess he secretly likes it though. <laughs> See, that's 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 this. That's he liked me way more. The more I disrespect him, the more he's gonna keep keep chasing. Him. He might feel bad for a second, but he's right back on it. He didn't like you way more, ma'am. If, if it only took you one or two times to disrespect him, he didn't like you anyway. Okay. How to attract a wealthy older white man? You're 22. Um, look, don't okay. Don't be too trendy. Don't have them baby hairs down to your eyebrows. All right, cut your nails down a little bit if they super long. Um, don't look like a stripper. No offense to strippers, but if you're going out with an old white man and he's taking you to these different restaurants and stuff, he don't want to look like that one that's you know getting ones at the ATM for you. Okay. So you got to look classy, dress a little bit classier, maybe a little bit more mature for your age, hang out in places where older men are. Don't look too trendy. Okay. That's the best thing I can tell you. Try to look more like a woman than a, a, a teenager. Okay. Um, somebody said, go hang out at the law firm. If I used to ride the elevators in them nice buildings. That's what I used to do when I was just <laughs> get dressed up like you're looking for somewhere in one of them buildings. Go ride the elevators. <laughs> Go meet somebody. <laughs> OT sprinkle sprinkle. Dust free air sprinkle sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Thank you, T. I was like a little kid, like, okay, so when you're free and you like, you just have all day free, you're like, oh, I'm going to go get dressed and play in some elevators. <laughs> Push all the buttons. <laughs> all right. What should I respond when he asks if I'm okay with the age gap? I only date older men. Shoot, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm I'm real good with that age gap. Yeah. I only date older men. Okay. <laughs> what if he knows the truth? Reverse psychology, guilt trip. Uh, then change it up, man. It's like, oh my gosh, you're so smart. That's why I like you. Feed into what he thinks he knows. You're so smart. That's why I like you. I can't play no games with you. Grab his hand, look into his eye, and say, that's too bad I got to go, though. Guess I'll see you later. I got to go figure out how I'm going to get these bills done. Then he's going to grab your hand and pull you right on back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> If you keep reversing, y'all just gonna be going in a circle and either he gonna pay or he gonna get off the wheel. <laughs> okay. You said then get end up getting cheated on? Okay, everybody cheat on everybody. That's nothing new. Sparkle, sparkle. 
these guys act like being cheated on by some dude is the end of the world. It ain't the end of the world. As long as them bills pay and I can spend my money and I ain't got to work, I don't care. Because women can cheat too. All right. You see how they try to use y'all's emotions and feelings against you? And when they're not there anymore, game over? Well, that's why you're going to end up alone. That's why you're going to end up single. That's why you're going to end up getting cheated on. And so we, we still going to have bills paid and do what we want and ain't got to work. So now what you got? Because we don't care anymore. We don't care. If, if somebody dumb enough to sleep with you, great. I ain't got to. Are you still dumb enough to pay these bills and, and pay for forgiveness? Great. That's, that's the deal. No emotions. No feelings. They have to like, like you way, way more. <laughs> and when they earn your emotions and feelings, it's because they're doing so, so, so much that they deserve it. They got to earn that. It's not free no more. They got to earn that. <laughs> How can you stop being dramatic? Have two to focus on, two or more to focus on. <laughs> Or something else to focus on. You said who in a wrong mind wiped you up? <laughs> they wrong mind. <laughs> well, someone that could never have gotten me in the first place. Someone who I am way out of their league to even be with. That's who. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> they was in a dream state. They thought they was dreaming. That's what happened. They just happened to have enough money. There you go. That's how you do it, ma'am. That's how you do it, sir. Be way out they league. You don't have to worry about it. Think about this. So let's reverse it. If there was a man that was very attractive, rich, or very attractive, and there was a woman who could never have that type of man, no matter what they did, unless by some miracle, you know, whatever, they're going to be happy and honored to be with that type of person, right? That's what it is. <laughs> So, he said, men only use emotions to control you, not to nurture you. They don't like that we don't care about them. Exactly. The only way you're going to get us to care is if you pay in and putting in work. What to say when he asks why do you only date older men? Because younger men don't have no money. Or, no, don't say that. So because younger men are too immature and, you know, the level that I'm on mentally, you know, it's like talking to like a younger sibling or something. We don't deal with younger guys because they're too much like, you know, they're too immature. If they're, if they're mature, if the younger guy is more mature than an older guy, they're going to have to be smarter, more intelligent, and have a more experience in life. That means they probably started whatever they're doing early and they've done all the things that, you know, they needed to do and get it out of the way. And now they're ready to, you know, be serious about something. But most of the time, that's not the case. So that's why most women like older men, because they've already experienced so much. They can teach you stuff. They can help you. They can give you the lifestyle that you want and take you to the next level financially and mentally. Okay. So it's literally like leveling up your knowledge, your mental and your finance all at the same time. For being unbothered by all the dust in the chat. Girl, thank you, girl. Goddess Aries, sprinkle, sprinkle. I told you I don't take dust seriously. <laughs> mm 
how do you manage not being sexually attracted to the man and fits all the other criteria? The same way a Dusty is not sexually attracted to pick Misha or Barbara the Builder, but just using her to get to the next level. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Um, and plus, one thing about women is that when we, especially after we have kids and we're focused on other stuff, we're not as focused on that as much because we have so much more to do. And a lot of times when you're young and that's all you're focused on, it gets in the way. It gets totally in the way. So I suggest having you one on the side. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Maya. Any advice on women in their early 20s with low dating experience who want to date for lifestyle where I cannot find men who will be a provider? You need to date as much as you can at the same time as you're trying to find a provider. But don't ever pay on dates. Make sure every, every guy is paying. That way you get to know how men think. You get to know what they're attracted to, what they're not what they talk about, what they think about. And it's going to be easier for you to uh, attract a provider once you know how men think. And the best place that you can find providers are in the rich area of town. During the daytime, maybe brunch on the weekend, uh, happy hours. They'll go to the gym over there. I don't know. Oh, Imani, sprinkle, sprinkle. How to stop caring and pull back by caring for yourself more and measuring how much they care about you and do not care for them if their amount of care is not 10 times as much. So if you care this much and they only care this much, then you need to care this much. You see? So if they care this much and you care this much, you need to care this much. Care less than they care for you. That's how. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Until they earn it. You care in too much and they care in not even enough to even match your amount of care. You care this much. If they care this much, you care this much. Never care more. Never. That's y'all. That's, that's a lot of women's problems. They care more. If you care less than the man, you will never have to worry. <laughs> and I'm, te I'm teaching you this not to, to make you uh, into a bad person or into a careless person, but to protect yourselves from falling too quickly for men who never intend to care for you. This is a prevention. This is, this is prevention from you falling too quickly in any type of relationship. Women like to rush into relationships, rush into feelings, rush into emotions. And then they think the guy hurt them when the guy never cared in the first place enough to even hurt you. You hurt yourself by caring too much. So you start off caring zero. And when their care is here, then you can care this. This is how much you care. Okay. So. Yeah, not all women, but some women will definitely care too much in the beginning when men haven't even earned it or don't even care enough about them to even want a woman to care for them. So always care less in the beginning of any types of relationship until that man has proven himself worthy of some sort of care. OK. <laughs> this will help you in the long run. It will help you to be less angry, less bitter. Less having to heal after a relationship, you give everything in and they gave you this this much and you gave this much. So y'all are doing it to yourselves because you care too much. You, you know, if you don't care, then no big deal. If you don't care, you can't really get hurt as much. Men care so much less than women care. That's why they don't walk around talking about, I need to go heal. I'm sad. How can I get over this woman? Uh, uh, not going to therapy and going to like some type of he healing session where people rubbing a crystal over you to get over some dusty. Ain't no man out there doing that because they don't care enough. Y'all care so much. Y'all have to go get professional help to stop caring. That should tell you stop caring in the first, don't even care in the first place. Y'all have to literally go sign up on apps, go sign up at some therapist's office, go sign up at some psychologist's or psychiatrist's office to stop caring for some dude. That means don't do it in the first place until they have earned it and paid for it. Because you paying for it still. Uh-oh, Rose. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all have to join support groups. 
get on medications because y'all care too much. Stop caring and all your most of your problems will go away. I promise you, when you stop caring like that, it would all fall away. I wouldn't care. No, I don't care. Where my money? <laughs> Yo, bad. You thought I cared. I acted like I'm a good actress now. I will act like I care all day, but still don't. Okay. This is why 50% of the women are going to be single. This is why you need to go study statistics and get a job in statistics if you're going to be doing dusted statistics on this channel. Why don't you go get paid to do statistics, sir? Can you even spell it? Uh, all them dusties got are statistics. Ain't got no money, but got the latest statistics. Ain't got no job, but I got the latest statistics on y'all women that I can't afford. Good for y'all. At least you at least you're passionate about something, sir. Dust a dusty marriage is not worth it. I, I think women are not gonna be marrying dusties. Okay, y'all ain't gonna have no free shelter no more in, in 2050. So y'all better find out something else to do. Pigmisha didn't had it. That means there's gonna be more homeless dusties. If there's if there are going to be 50 percent more single women in 2050, that means that the homeless population get ready to increase. So, Dusty, y'all better get y'all's plans together. Yeah, I didn't do them statistics, did you? Go go see how much homelessness is getting ready to increase. Now that pig beach them getting fed up with y'all. Go do them statistics. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're not going to have no place to live if nobody wants us except for our mothers. If they die, and we can't afford the taxes on them houses because I'm a dusty bum. Oh, my goodness. But you right. I'm going to be homeless in 2050. That's right, sir. So you better go figure it out. Okay. <laughs> um... I didn't watch that who TF did I marry. I didn't watch it. I don't have TikTok. <laughs> okay. How to show him that I like when he spends to keep your get all over and start touching on his chest and rubbing on his leg when he starts spending money here. Spark, spark. That's how you know. That's how he'll know. Start whispering in his ear. Oh, Tiana, makeup, sprinkle, sprinkle. Even homeless men have more potential than a dust sprinkle, sprinkle. Than the dustiest. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. You said that's all your clients? Women who hurt because they gave too much? Mm-hmm. Then stop giving, stop caring, because I, I sure, I don't, I don't care. Like, I don't care. You're going to have to pay me to care or pretend to care, because that's the, that's the closest you're going to get. <laughs> that is the attitude y'all need. Practice that attitude for six months, ladies, and see how far you get in this world. Do an experiment. I, I challenge you. Care about your money only. And if they ain't talking about no money, then you're not caring. Um, Uh-oh, Nikki. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She or my provider has childbearing hips. <laughs> and says that he wants a BBL like it's normal. He says he's straight. Should I be alarmed and give girl... Red flags, red flags, red flags. He say he's straight, but he want a BBL and got child bearing hips. Hmm. 
A grown man wants a BBL. But he's straight. He's straight gay. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. He want to twerk them cheeks for somebody. He wants to make it clap for someone. Uh, you need to figure out who that is. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Oh, God, it's wild red. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey, girl, where you been? <laughs> Oh, Brittany, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He want to risk his life under the knife for somebody, ma'am. You better figure out who it is. Uh oh, thank you again. What got us wild red? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Somebody said they pray you lying. <laughs> If you believe him, ma'am, you want to believe that. You know it's not true, but you want to believe it. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are silly. You said how to get a provider, man. Back after you broke up with him, he keeps texting you. Tell him what you need, man. Say, well, you might as well be useful. Come on over and take me shopping. That's how you get him back. Tell him what he's going to do. He's, he's used to providing. He's blowing up your phone. Call him over. Tell him to take you shopping. Okay. <laughs> how to get provider, man. Okay, I already answered that. You said men be like, I'm fighting my demons and it be bisexuality. <laughs> Girl, let's, let's get an old one. Girl, get your old one. They done fought them by the end. They, they, they straight or they, they went the other way. When you get old, it's like, you know what? I got to pick a side. <laughs> Usually the older ones, you ain't going to have too much problem. These young ones out here, they think they the prize. That's why. Okay. Dating is horrible. Most of them are unserious. I don't like being single for too long or introduce interacting with men or short term pleasure, but my current partner is emotionally verbally abusive. Date for money from now on, ma'am. I only date men who who's paying, who got money, who owe, who already know the deal. And you don't have to worry about that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all are dating. Y'all are trying to date for love and emotions. Y'all need to be dating for funds. And putting the funds into yourself, creating the life that you desire. Okay. <laughs> don't catch no feelings. Are you going to. Someone says, talk more about catch feelings. Don't catch no feelings. Catch some funds. <laughs> what if what what if they put sex as a condition for more money? Then make sure that money is a lot and it's worth it. So you need to start off high the first time. Like I'm not sleeping with no man until all my bills paid, until I don't have to work no more. If you give it up without Without that, they're going to think you worth $200 every time you sleep with them. No. All bills paid. I don't work no more if you sleep it with me. Period. I need six months worth of bill paid in my account. If you want a commitment from me, then it's going to cost you a lot. 10, 10K plus. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting ready to take myself off the market. We ain't. If I need more money from you and you need and you need somebody to sleep with you or whatever, then it's going to be a large a large amount. That means I'm that means you're not on direct deposit, ma'am, which means they can leverage money over your head. So you need to be on direct deposit. Tell him you don't like talking about money, discussing money, you don't like the pressure of being 
uh, having to say, well, you know what, if, if you don't give me some, I ain't gonna give you no money. Put me on direct deposit if you want me to naturally be attracted to you and want to even sleep with you. Okay, I need to feel safe, secure, and like you actually care, not like you dangling no carrots. You cuss him out one good time and tell him how you feel, and maybe he'll start to hit it and it'll click in his head to put you on some direct deposit, ma'am. And he'll actually have to work to get you to want to sleep with him. That means work on his delivery, work on how he treats you, work on the gifts that he's buying you, work on seducing you, work on surprising you with romantic things, okay, like a real relationship. Otherwise, he need to just go on and find him a prostitute. Okay. Tell him that's not what you are. You you need to be wooed too. I think he'll have way more respect for you if you if you cuss him out and tell him that one good time. Or you don't really have to cuss him out, just suggest the direct deposit thing. Tell him how it makes you feel uncomfortable and how you want him to actually work on being this way and that way. And then he'll feel like he's in a real relationship, girl, if that's what he wants. If he doesn't want that, then tell him, you know, give him a number to the escort service or something like that. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He said how to get men to leave you alone completely. Which men? Broke men or men with money? It's different how you get rid of them. <laughs> How to be feminine when asking for money? Be in a dress, smile, smell good, look good. Make sure you look 10 times better than you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Boyfriend chose me instead of another girl. Okay, good for you. He still keep her at it. I confronted him, told him to not talk to her. He unadded her and swore he didn't talk to her. He is currently in a group chat. Okay, first of all, you, you must be young. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You must be young. You can't tell no grown man what to do. I, he, I don't know if he's grown. But you can't tell no man who to talk to and who not to talk to. Why aren't you talking to some other dude? Why isn't he worried about you? Why isn't he all up in your social media checking on who you talking to? Do you not have options? Why are you so controlling? Or do you fear losing him to this other girl? Why don't you have better options than him? That's what you need to be asking yourself. Okay, you can't control no man. What you could do is go get you a better one and level yourself up, or you can allow yourself to have more options so you don't have to feel this insecure to go stalking behind some dude who's obviously friends with somebody he wants to be friends with. Okay, he need to be stalking behind you because you got plenty of male friends. That's what you need to be doing. Stay the prize. You making him the prize, man. You making him the prize. And Stop doing it. Don't chase. Attract. Oh, Jay Ellington, I did my own statistics. The caring got me treated like dirt. The heartless got me treated like a goddess. Can't even be nice shaking my head. Uh oh, Jay Ellington, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl, for telling us that. But being nice gets you nowhere. <laughs> you can't care too much. Okay. Thank you for the donation. But okay, so the girl that cares too much about her man being friends with somebody and he's all up in a group chat and this is that you care too much because he don't even care enough to see who you trying to be in a group chat with, who you talking to, who nothing. He don't care enough, but you do. You see the, you see the unbalance there? You need to be so busy you don't even notice who he talking to. You need to have several options, man. That's how you win. No more, no more just trying to see what he's doing, man. Goes, he needs to see what you're doing. How long should I let a man pursue me until he gives me money before I cut it? Okay, well, if he ain't talking about no money, by the you know, and, and you mentioned that you might need something or you might want something, if he hasn't start to try to give it to you, he doesn't really like you on the level that you need him to like you in order to give you real money in the first place. So give him about, you know, three conversations on the phone. If he's, if he's not sounding like he about to spin or he's trying to ask you out to a nice place where you can ask him to spin even more, then you waste the time. Okay.
If you look good, they should be trying to spin right away. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, baby girl, for the cash app. I'm sorry, I just saw it. Did you ask a question? Thank you. Okay. You lent, you ended up pregnant by a sugar daddy who's a millionaire, but doesn't want to be together. What should I, what do I do? He does provide financial. Just keep taking the money, man, and start dating somebody else. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You got a millionaire, baby. You said for life. Collect his money and go date. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You don't have to work no more, right? Start saving your money. Maybe start you a business after you had a baby. Hire a nanny or stay home with the baby until you're comfortable with hiring a nanny. And then go do what you got to do. You got you got free. You got a free ride. What you doing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Some 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 women out here got babies by dusties and they still trying to figure out what they going to do. You better be happy. You got you got money. That's why I say never lay down with anything broke. Because now you're set. <laughs> okay. You said how to look unapproach how to stop looking so unapproachable in public. You dress very nicely, but you think your face might look too mean at times. Then smile the entire time. Y'all remember that movie Smile? That's that's what you gotta do if you got resting face. You gotta look like them people on that movie Smile. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Maybe not that intense. Just consciously make sure your face is always smiling. Okay. Here you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said you're 19. Why do only married men approach you? But they approach anybody, girl. Yeah, don't worry. They approaching anything, mostly. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um. Girl. Ask every woman in here. They got the same. Why do only married men approach? Because that's what they do. And y'all sitting up here being faithful, putting y'all money in their bank account, uh, cooking and cleaning and washing their dirty drawers. Why they over there hitting on anything? That's why. Uh uh. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. That's why you marry for money, man. I mean, you don't become the domestic help once you get married. You don't do it. Oh, bubble, sprinkle, sprinkle. Someone got you really upset and you fought him in front of my boyfriend. And he has nice sense changed towards me. Should I let him go? Girl, yes. If you still fight in the street with men, you don't need to be in no type of relationship until you get yourself together. Okay. When you level up to a certain degree, you have to level up mentally. That means you solve your problems mentally instead of physically. Okay. Um, unless somebody puts their hand on your child or has some type of weapon and you have to defend yourself, you should not be fighting nobody. Okay. You got to level up mentally. You got to mature. Okay. Work on that because... You're going to lose a lot of people if you can't control your emotions and that person's going to be like, that dude is, you know, uh, leaving me because I'm too violent or I'm always fighting or, you know, yeah, nobody wants that. That's, that's ratchet. It's really ratchet. It's like world star. Y'all remember world star? It's like that. You don't want to, you don't want to be on world star. Do you? This that. <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't do it. I don't care what the circumstance is unless, like I said, unless they put their hand on your child or you got to defend yourself, don't even bother. Mm. 
ain't no man gonna look at you the same after you done did all that. So I would I, start over with someone else and don't make the same mistakes. <laughs> Uh oh, JV. Thank you, Shira. Just recently found your channel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Um, how to catch feelings? Treat it like a business. Exactly. Don't catch feelings. Treat it like a business. <laughs> Okay, Celine says, why do I feel like men secretly hate feminine women, even the providers? I feel like they hate us. Feminine. They don't hate you. You know what? They don't hate you. You know what? They hate the fact that you're able to finesse and do the things that you do so effortlessly. They don't hate you. Um, unless they're secure. I mean, unless they're insecure. Sorry. Unless they're insecure, they have no reason to hate you. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I've never felt hated. First of all, let me tell you something. You're reading too much into it. If you if you feel hate from a guy who's giving you money, then you're not focused on the money. Because I don't feel nothing. I mean, if that were true, everybody that's paying bills that hates paying bills. All the debt collectors and the companies would feel a lot of hate and, and anger, but they're not focused on the hate. They focus on them bill getting paid. Ain't, isn't that right? The phone company and the light company and the gas company, they don't care how many people hate paying bills. They just matter. Do they pay the bills? We good then. Keep your lights on. You're focused on the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. Focus on the correct thing, which is the money. Are they giving you money? Then who cares? Are they paying, like the bill company said, I don't care if they hate paying bills. Are they paying them bills? Then, then great. We don't care if you hate paying bills. The bill company will tell you. Just have them paid. That's how you need to think. Stop stop thinking too much into it. If it OK, you that's how that's how, you know, you start to care too much when you start having feelings, even feeling hate from someone is a feeling. OK, you're getting too close. Who cares if they hate it? Most people hate paying bills, but the bill companies do not care. They still collect it. And you, you need to stay collecting too and stop caring. <laughs> OK, when you start to look too deep into something about why you think men feel this and who cares what men feel. If they're not telling you how they feel out of their own mouth, then why do you care? And if they if they're telling you, I hate you, then, OK, say, great. But still, you got to pay. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, baby cakes. He gifted you. Three thousand five hundred dollar bag. But I asked him for some money for help. And he said, no, that has to meet me first. He got me a first class ticket to see him. I don't think he will take me shopping while there. Then lose your luggage, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't even bring no luggage, but say you did and lose it. You can't, he, can't, he can't take you out in the same dress or the same outfit you wear off the plane. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Solve your problems, ma'am. Look for solutions, not problems. I only see solutions. Oh my gosh, my luggage was so lost. I only have this outfit that I have on. Yes, we go in shopping. All right. We'll have to take you shopping in the morning. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Girl, he find you first class, then great. Don't bring no luggage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, now here, we wouldn't have to do all these things if the guy was just a nice person and offered to take you shopping anyway. Or offered to give you money to go shopping before the trip in the first place. See, if they offer, you ain't got the trigger. Just be a gentleman and offer. 
Min. Thank you for being a blessed. Thank you for being a blessing, Shira. You helped so much after getting my heart broken. Uh oh. Too unique. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm glad you're over it. So for, here's an example. If a man asks you, okay, okay, come see me. I'm going to send you a first class ticket. I'll take you shopping when you get here. You're not going to forget your luggage. You're going to bring cute outfits and maybe buy a couple of things. But if this man is, is acting stupid and saying he ain't going to give you no money and this, this, and that, when, when you get there with no luggage, he's going to have to spend even more money on you than he would have if he had just offered. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to give you anything. No shopping money, no spending money, but you can come to see me first class. Okay. I'm coming to see you first class with no luggage. Okay. And when I get there, we're going shopping because you said you weren't finna give me no money to go shopping. So guess what? We're still going shopping anyway. I don't care what you said. Your feelings are, I don't care. Now, if you had offered to take me shopping when I got there, I would have packed some nice stuff. And you might have only got a couple of things, but now I got to get everything. Underwear, bras, shoes, socks, toothbrush, perfume, dress, pajamas, house shoes. <laughs> okay makeup see what you done did to yourself so offer to take a woman shopping because you're going to really have to take her shopping if she wants you to take her shopping <laughs> swimsuit skin care women are expensive you better you better you better you better tell you taking her shopping because she's going to make sure you're going to take her shopping and you're going to spend way more than you would have if you had just offered. <laughs> and if she don't have everything she need, the trip is not going to be smooth. The visit is not going to be smooth. She's not going to be comfortable. She ain't going to have all her stuff. She's going to feel out of place. I don't have my right makeup. She's going to feel like she's going to be concerned about all this other stuff. She ain't going to be focused on you. You better take a shot and give her some money. Oh, baby cake, sprinkle, sprinkle. Should I ask him now? If he's taking me, no. If he's taking you shopping or waste my time going, I don't even want to go anywhere. Okay. Tell him this. Say, so are we going to go shopping when we get there? Because I have, no, no because you're going to give it away. So just say, okay, so we'll, uh, you will take me, tell him you will take me shopping when I get there then. And then that way, if you show up with no bag, you're under the assumption he was going to take you shopping. So you don't even have to really lie and say you lost your luggage. You can just say, well, you said you was taking the shop, so I didn't bring no luggage. Maybe just bring your overnight like face care and makeup, and that's it. So just tell him what he's going to do. Say, so, okay, you can take me shopping when we get there. And I'll say, okay, then show up with no luggage. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And make sure you tell people where you're going because people are concerned about your safety. Make sure you got him on, you know, know he lives on Google, got his name researched, leave with somebody you trust. Da -da 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 -da. Make sure you got your pepper spray, whatnot. <laughs> I don't suggest going to guys anyway, but. They literally have to come to me because I'm too like I'm uncaring to do that. <laughs> I'm so bad. Like I, I'm so bad. I'd be like, you know what? I don't care enough. So you have to come here. That's how much I care. Zero. <laughs> okay. Why? Okay. Unless this person is somebody that you really want to be with in your future, I'm not traveling to nobody. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't pull in your own hometown and get money, men to spend in your own hometown. You don't need to fly to no other town. You know what I'm saying? You got options. You ain't got to get on a plane unless you truly want to. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, G Blue Skin, thank you. Tell them against again not to care if unfair world sprinkles. Yeah, well, don't play fair in an unfair world. Y'all gonna get look at be looking stupid. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See, thank you, J Blue Skin, for the donation. So most people don't realize because women are programmed to be the good, virtuous, good woman, but they don't realize they're programmed to be that in an unfair world. Y'all are programmed to play fair in an unfair world. You're set up to lose, basically. So don't do it. <laughs> Only a person that has not thought it through will play fair in an unfair world. Until they realize you can't, it doesn't work. And once you realize that, you'll stop trying to do that. You'll stop trying to be the good, virtuous, good person, good woman in an unfair world that's not set up for you to win. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. What do you do, though, if I make him upset? Girl, you're supposed to be even more upset. If he has, if he, if he made, if you make him upset, you're supposed to be even more upset than he made you. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, if, if you make him mad, you're supposed to not even be talking to him no more. You're supposed to be like, you know what? I'm not talking to you until you do what I need you to do. And that's it. Cut the communication. You said hypersexual man, how do I deal with him? <laughs> uh, cut all his caffeine. <sighs> and talk about gross things. There you go. Spirk, spirk. <laughs> Stuff that will turn him off quickly. Send them, people, send them picture of people cutting up bananas and <laughs> all right, sparkle, sparkle. Okay. Send them pictures of vasectomies online and stuff, you know. Thank you, Jay Booskin. Appreciate you. Um, every time you touch something in a shop, ask him in a soft voice, can you afford it? <laughs> He's so silly. Okay. You see it wrinkle, wrinkle? Yep. Wrinkle, wrinkle. You got to be old. Yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle. Phrases to humble, arrogant men who thinks that he's the prize you have. What funniest comeback? Oh. Call him the wrong name, man. I, I told y'all that yesterday. Call him the wrong name. Or tell him he can't afford something. That's that will tell that will get him. Mm hmm. Oh, sugar daddy agreed to take you shoe shopping, but wants me to spend the night. Should I get the shoes and dip out? Yep. Get the shoes. Get you a big old box of maxi pads and stick it right in the bathroom on the counter. You tell them you got bad cramps. You got to go. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay. And don't drink nothing he give you. <laughs> All right.
how to attack detach emotionally when you're already invested emotionally then you have to unattach or detach like you said by talking to someone else that's better sprinkle sprinkle that's how you always detach how do how do men detach from women they just find another woman that's that they like more and they start talking to them and little by little you'll start detaching from the other one okay so get you another one sprinkle sprinkle that's better that has better quality that's going to do more okay that's how you detach it's like an outfit you have a favorite dress or a favorite pair of jeans right but then you go get another pair that makes you your body looks even better you get more compliments in it people are noticing you more so you're going to wear that dress more often, right? You're going to feel more confident in that. So go get you another one, a better one. That's that's how. You'll start detaching from the old dress or the old dude that's no longer good for you. And you'll be focused on something else, attached to something better. Okay. Spark, sparkle. Hey, I'm left. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you got practice. Huh? Uh-uh. Yeah, uh I'm good. I don't have any. Thank you. Okay. That was James. <laughs> you say it's called self-esteem. That's right. How long should you go no contact with my provider to come back? Until he come back. Otherwise, he don't want you. And you should uh, definitely be having entertaining other guys that are potential providers. Because we don't chase, we attract. We don't lose them, they lose us. You get it? Okay. That hurts their self-esteem and their ego if they like you. If you don't chase and you just replace. <laughs> or start to entertain and interview uh, by going on dates, their replacements. Okay. You've been living with a married man for years and living separately for me, but he won't give me a divorce. Okay. Then file for the divorce yourself, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If he won't give you a divorce, then uh, I don't know. Do y'all have kids? If you live at a separate address, file for child support. If y'all, if you can, then maybe he'll give it to you. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, or start dating another man. I bet you he'll give it to you then. File for a legal separation and then start dating another man. Okay. Then he'll divorce you quick. Should you get a guy a cheap birthday gift who spends nothing on you at all? Yeah. You should give him a hook and tell him thank you for being alive. That's all you deserve. You don't, don't be a pick me sure. You don't give no man no, no, no nothing that's not spending on you, man. <laughs> give him a hug and tell him happy birthday, sparkle, sparkle. That's it. That's all you're getting. That's more than enough. <laughs> More than enough. How do you know if a man is keeping you for convenience? Is it possible if you live together? Okay. If you're not doing anything in that household, if you're not cooking or cleaning, if, if you're paying any bills, so first of all, you don't need to pay, be paying any bills if you live with a grown man. 
You don't need to be cooking or cleaning if you ain't married. So if he's not catering to you, cooking for you, ordering you DoorDash, taking you out to eat, or paying all the bills in the house and letting you keep all your money, then he's using you. Okay? That's how you know. If you have to if you have to pull out your wallet at any time or do any type of domestic services. So um LG says stop asking for handouts. Ain't nobody asking for handouts. Y'all stop asking for sex. <laughs> when y'all stop asking for sex, women will stop asking for handouts and money. How about that? All right. Until then, we're going to be asking and telling and expecting. Okay. Oh, you found a guy online that paid off your student loans and gave you some money. Good for you, ma'am. He's married, and I haven't heard from him in three days. Girl, his wife found out. Let him lay low for a while. He'll be back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or his wife is on to him. Just lay, let him lay low for a little while. <laughs> He'll be back with some more money. <laughs> okay. Somebody says, stop asking for cat. These dust is crazy. They think it's it's free. It ain't free. Only pick me should get that away for free. All right. Should you live together with a boyfriend before marriage? Of course. Especially if you're paying all the bills. <laughs> um, how to be confident and not shy with older men? I only date older men because that's the only way I can be. I'm already I'm confident naturally. And when I have some shots of tequila, I'm not shy at all. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get you a drink and stay confident no matter what. Okay. That's all you can be is confident. I would never go out with a man if I was, if I was feeling insecure about myself. You know, when I step out and I go out, I'm the prize, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to up your own maturity to retain an older guy. Um, focus on your goals and your lifestyle that you are trying to acquire. Money, houses, cars, um, vacations. Um, up in your wardrobe or whatever, whatever. Focus on that. Focus on the money. That's always mature. <laughs> Investments. Focus on growing your bank account, your savings, a project that you want to do. Older, you're more mature when you're focused on yourself, literally, and your goals and what you're trying to do. And what, like, even if it's something that you don't think that they'll think is mature. As long as it's something that you're trying to accomplish, that's mature. Okay. Oh, I missed Super Chat. Hold on. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay. Um, jealous masculine woman at work makes my work a nightmare. Then find a sugar daddy so he can tell you to quit your job, man. Sparkle, sparkle. Or just ignore her. Or just tell her. You know what? Depending on what she's saying, if she's talking about your clothes or whatever, whatever, it's like, you know, you can borrow it sometimes or I'll tell you where I shop if you really like it. So whatever she's telling you negative, turn it around to something positive. Like, why are you always dressed up? Why are you always got a full face of makeup? Well, I can teach you how to do your makeup if you want me to. Or, you know, why are you always coming here so dressed up? Well, I can tell you where I shop if you like my clothes. Like, switch it up on them. Like, take everything as a compliment. Always take everything as a comment. If they're being mean to you and extra, like, oh, you know, I have some mite all in my purse if it's that time of the month for you. Or, you know what, if you need to talk about something, I'm here. <laughs> or, you know, if you don't like the way I'm doing something, then um, definitely let me know. Mm, 
or we can go talk to the boss right now. Was she going to take your side because you look better? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. <laughs> you said how to stop getting attached to men. Get attached to their money, not them. Get attached to several men's money at the same time. That way you won't get attached to them. You'll just be attached to what they can do for you. And until they do enough for you, you're not going to even give them the time of day to even feel any type of emotion for them. You know what I'm saying? They don't like you. You don't like them at all. If they don't have, a, if they're not attached to you emotionally, you're not attached to them at all. Oh, Bria, sparkle, sparkle. tips on being a little, tips on him being a little too sexual, then be a little bit too wanting to spend his money. <laughs> that always turns a man off when they can't afford to buy something. They won't be trying to get sex from you if they can't do something that you've asked them to do. They won't be trying to pursue you sexually. So always ask them for something that you know that they're going to say no on if they're getting too sexual. Okay. So if you're if they're on the phone being too sexual, send them a link of something very expensive and ask them if they can buy it for you. <laughs> That'll shut them up real quick. Oh, sure. Thanks to you. I have a Potential provider taking you to Switzerland. Okay, Miss Coconut Sprinkle Sprinkle. Gave you a 700 E. I don't even know. Is that pounds? What that? Camera. Okay, girl. Is that Frank? What, what is that? But an expensive camera. So thank you for your knowledge. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Yes, Miss Coconut. Get you get your money. I'm so happy for y'all out there getting this bag. Yes. Okay, how to deal with a boss that wants to date you, okay? Make sure the boss have money, first of all, and he can afford to date you. And it's good for your career. So ask for a raise first. Ask for a raise first. Then, then you can get a date. Then hopefully, eventually, you can quit your job and he'll be paying for everything. If you, I should, you know, if he's the owner, even better. Okay. Dusties are here because the f they crave feminine attention and can't get it outside in the real world. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to deal with bullies if ignoring doesn't work. Then talk to them right back, man. You got to be specific, you know. Like, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm so glad I don't have to bully people to feel good about myself. Oof. Call them straight out, ma'am. That's all I would say. I'm so glad that I don't have to bully people to feel good about my situation or myself. I am so glad that I don't have to stoop to your level. Terrible. Do you need to talk about it? <laughs> Girl, just try to just try to help them. They, they hate that. You be trying to help them. They hate it. Act concern. <laughs> Is there something bothering you on a deeper level? Do we need to talk about this? Don't ever take it personally. When you never take anything personally and you just keep trying to analyze them, they get mad and leave you alone, ma'am. I'm very serious and need help. A lady hexed my finances and she jealous of me how to remove. Girl, ain't nobody hexed your finances. You just go get you a sugar daddy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's how. Unhex them by getting a man that can pay for your bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Melissa is the name. Hey, girl. What is your take on women giving oral sex? Is there a place for that? Or just for husbands, or is that off the table? As far as for girl, do you have to work anymore? Then you should be doing none of that. That's when you work free, bill free. Direct deposit on direct deposit that you're doing that for anybody. If you're doing that just with some random dude because you're dating for fun and sleeping with men for fun, that's different. When you're dating for funds, that's when you don't know how to clock in no more, man. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. 
if you already have a career, that's for when you don't have to pay your car note, your mortgage, your whatever no more, because the, the dude is doing it, okay? Oh, Ashley, sprinkle, sprinkle, how to deal with provider who pays all the bills and says I don't have to work, but gives me cash, but won't give me cash. I work right now for cash in my account and he pays for everything. He says, if he pays for everything, why do I need money? Then tell him to give you a credit card, sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell them you need a credit card with your name on it or you ain't going to be able to do this no more. Uh-oh, Miraja. How to know when it's time to get married or leave the relationship? Um, When you tell him you're going to be planning your life out for the next five years and you need to know if you need to be traveling or planning uh, a honeymoon. <laughs> Basically, I, I'm going to take you or leave you. Do I need to plan for travel or do I need to plan for a honeymoon and building a house? Because I'm making this decision in the next five years. No. And if you have not five years, in the next five months. So he got five months to figure out where he want to be in life and whether to let you go. Because you really don't care. Or whether to go ahead and make sure that you continue to stay in his life. That's what you need to do. I always say you're making plans. Don't take anything personally. Don't show any type of emotion. Just say, I need to know what I'm getting ready to do in the next five years. I'm getting ready to make my plan. And I'm going to either book a trip to travel the world for in the next five months. Or unless you have something else in mind that we're going to do together for the next five years, then I'm going to go ahead and start planning. That means I don't care if you want me. You know how to keep me. If not, I'm fit to go do better. That's all you got to do. Act like you don't care and you are the prize no matter what he says. Oh, Ashley, you do have a car, but he won't give me cash. Okay. Well, don't you, can't you get cash back on the card? Can't you go to the ATM? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I thought all cars allow cash back. Or to get cash. I don't know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. I do have a car, but okay, yeah. Man, if you don't know how credit cards work or debit cards, you could get cash from the ATMs all the time. Just go go put it in. All right. If these guys aren't giving you cash, that's why you need guy number two. Okay, Guy number two got cash. Guy number one put you on a credit card bill or pay with points or whatever he's paying with. Okay, That's why you need two. One, two. One, two. Cash and pay for stuff. If he won't give you cash, then you get the other one to give you cash. Okay. Thank you, Shira, for waking all up the ladies, waking up the ladies and realizing our worth. You are heaven sent. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Miss, hold on. Asia, thank you. Okay. Nikita, how to deal with men who only take care and involved one child but doesn't take care of acknowledge the one he had with me? Um, by getting a richer man and a richer stepfather for your child and collecting your child support and moving forward because. You don't need to fight for a man's attention or for a man to pay attention to his child. Go get somebody with money that can give your child attention and a good lifestyle. Okay. Stop chasing and fighting for men's attention. If they if you don't, if they don't want to give it to you, don't beg for it. Not even for your child. Your child needs to grow up knowing that that was just a sperm donor or just a temporary father until you find a replacement. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Treat him exactly how he's treating himself. Unnecessary. Okay. Y'all are doing too much. Y'all can't make a man be a man. Y'all can only go get another one and replace him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go get you a rich stepdaddy. <laughs> 
Oh, Megan, thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. Stop. Start focusing on yourself, not him. You said, well, ask me a serious question. This is not a relationship channel. This is a financial channel. If you over here trying to see how to get a dusty back, this ain't the channel for you. We're trying to get money over here, not dust. We attract, we don't chase. If y'all want pick me your advice. Sorry, I'll push the wrong button. <laughs> but I'm serious. If y'all want Pick Misha advice, go to Pick Misha's channel. She got plenty of advice to give. <laughs> you said somebody put a voodoo doll on your door. Then go put another, go put one on her door. Who cares? <laughs> uh oh melissa in the, in the name i find oral degrading is then tell him it's like i ain't doing that sprunk sprunk mm -hmm. you tell him no i'm sorry i can't do that okay Mm hmm. Let me read some of these comments. <sighs> what I like to do in my spare time? Stop. Stop. Hmm. Shop online. Mm. Go to cool places. Go to nice places. Mm -hmm. I have garden. Um, I have different hobbies. I can paint. I can draw. I play a little bit of the piano. Um, mm-hmm. I can make lots of things. I'm very crafty. <laughs> I'm a renaissance woman. I can do a lot. Okay, what to say to the guy you're dating who tells me I don't need luxury goods when I tell him I like them? Then tell him the money is for something else and then go buy them yourself, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Some men don't believe in buying a woman luxury goods. So just lie and say the money is for something else, like a dog's operation. <laughs> then go buy what you want. Okay. Uh oh, Melody, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sometimes you got to lie to get what you need. Is the dog's, op is the dog's life or death operation really a luxury? <laughs> Okay. Uh oh, Tia, sprinkle, sprinkle. You're living in shared with a guy and a girl that keep sleeping together, but the guy tells me he wants me now and fucks with me all the time. What do I do? Get him to pay all the bills and prove it. Okay. If you paying any rent or bills in that spot and he really like you, you won't be paying no bills no more. That's how he can prove it. Otherwise, he's just trying to sleep with both of y'all for free. How come? <laughs> okay, pay my month's rent then. Pay all the bills then. Then I know you, you ain't lying. When you live in rent free, that's how you know. Okay. <laughs> That's how some girls do it. They start off as roommates and end up as girlfriend with no paying bills. 
Okay. I seen it my own eyes. This one girl I knew, she did it a place to stay. So she got an apartment with like two guys. And they were all they all worked together at the same place, right? So everybody had to pitch in their rent money. And she was like, I don't know if she was Jamaican or African, but she was smart because she started sleeping with one of the guys right away, but she ain't never paid rent. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He got it. He went on double shifts. <laughs> okay. Oh, Janara, Janaha, Janaha, sprinkle, sprinkle, Janaja. I hope I said it right. You said probably Jamaican, girl. <laughs> Your pick, Misha friend, flies to go see her dusty every month. How do I tell her to stop? Yeah. Girl, let her keep, maybe she's getting them frequent flyer miles. Who knows? Don't you can't make a woman stop seeing the dust. All you can do is lead by example and see somebody that has more money and make her want to do better in life. You can't really tell nobody nothing. They gotta learn. Okay. Does saying you work from home in the insurance industry sound too masculine? No. You say I work from home. You ain't got the they say in what industry is it? Oh, insurance. It's boring. This change the subject. Okay. You said, is it too late for a 54-year-old woman? No, it ain't going to be too late for me. Sprinkle, sparkle. When I'm 54, it ain't going to be too late for me. So I don't know about you. <laughs> okay. Okay. How do you upgrade from a situation ship? Get a man that wants a commitment and to pay all your bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There you go. And stop agreeing to situationships. He can't get none unless he's paying for bills. And committed. There you go. <laughs> Have some discipline. You say you got a dusty who refuses to give compliments? Then tell him all the compliments you got from other people on that day. Come home and be like, guess what? This person said that they like my dress. This person said they love my shoes. This person bought me lunch today. They said I'm looking good. Give yourself compliments. Have other people's compliments um, be enough for you. You don't need compliments from a dusty. They don't even count anyway. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Why do you need dusty validation? A dusty can tell me this. I look good all day. I ain't going. I'm not listening to him. I already know I look good. It's not even a compliment coming from a dusty. I already know I look good. Okay. A man with some money tell you you look good. That's the compliment. All right. Because now he's agreeing with you. Great minds think alike. Oh, Janaha, sprinkle, sprinkle. You turn 26. Any advice? Yeah. Only date for funds at this point. No more dating for fun. Only date men with money who can literally give you the lifestyle that you want. Make that your goal. Never date Dusty. Don't give him a chance. Don't think this could be true love. Don't think none of that. <laughs> date for funds and lifestyle that way if you meet somebody that you know meets your standards and that it's literally can actually provide and become husband material you don't have to start all over somewhere else you're already in that you know uh, field of dating men with money and so you settle down you get married they become the father of your child. You don't have to worry about money and everything is good. So only date for money from this point on. Don't date for nothing else. Okay. Get lifestyle and money because that's what's going to matter in your future anyway. 
especially if you're going to have kids. Okay. How to avoid rich psychopaths from abusing or violence. The same way you avoid a dusty who's a violent. Pepper spray, knives, guns, 911. All right? Sprinkle, sprinkle. The same way you avoid a dusty criminal. The same way you avoid a dusty abuser. Same exact way. Okay? Y'all act like dusties don't abuse way more. Dusties have more to lose, have nothing to lose, so they're prone to be more violent. <laughs> okay. Your looks mean. I look mean. I am mean. That's how I got everything I got. All right, you can't. Nice people don't finish first. All right, mean people get exactly what they want because they say what they say and they have no regrets and they don't apologize for being who they are. Some men like mean women. <laughs> uh oh, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle, bacon. All right. All right. You said I look, thank you. I try to look mean sometimes so that nobody mess with me. <laughs> What's mentally behind being mean if you are naturally a giver? Um, well, people are mean for a reason. They don't stay mean the entire time. Uh, you you mean when you gotta be, then you're nice when you gotta be. Okay, so if you have children, y'all know. You ask the kid ten times to do something, they don't do it because you ask too nice. Put a little attitude in that voice, a little threat, they're gonna do it. So thank you, Shonda, for the cash app, Patrice. Violet, nay, thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Okay. So you can't, you can't be mean all the time, but you need to be mean when you have to be. That's it. You're you quit your job because you done, girl? You done working? Okay. You stress because you are unemployed, your own, you own your home and you have 90K saved. And you have a provider, but he don't pay every bill. I feel bad, girl. Why do you feel bad? Well, now is the time where you can get him to pay every bill. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, and keep saving your money and don't let it dwindle. Or get you an extra man to pick up the slack. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All you got to do is add another one to the roster and to pick up the slack, man. You got a lot of free time. You can go find one. Okay. You say you need a green card. You need a broke man. Should I settle? No. Okay, here's what you do. So... You got to level, you got to look cute. Okay. And some guys like, it's very invasive to some people when, you know, their partner is getting a green card. Sometimes they want to look at all their finances and this, 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 and that. So a lot of people don't want people in their business. So usually a poor guy don't have nothing really going on in his business and he don't care if they're looking at it. So what you need to do is get you a rich boyfriend, tell him to plan. Look, I got to marry this broke dude. We're going to pay him $10,000 to do this fake marriage. And then I'm going to come live with you. And then we're going to divorce him in two years. So you need to find you a rich one. Get you a, a broke, fake husband. Get on them dating websites where the rich guys are or go to the rich areas of town. Okay. I don't really recommend dating websites. But if you ain't got a lot of time, you need to go find those millionaire ones and tell them what you need. To help me 
Give it a little cute, ma'am. Uh oh, and find the ugliest one. Uh oh, Kylie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Go find the ugliest one, though. The worst looking is one, and you're going to have your green card soon, okay? Okay. Oh, you just went on an international trip with a guy, all bills paid, sprinkle, sprinkle. Good for you. Good for you. How to raise standards and dates for them to invite you to higher end places. Tell them where you want to go. And you need to look the part. So if you already look the part and you know you're going to fit into the higher end places, then you should have no problem by telling them where you want to go. Oh, Miss V, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. I got to go in a few minutes, but make sure you all are telling people what you want, especially if they uh, are a lot older. Sure, what will you recommend for women's friendship? I am new. Try what? Go to try of my what? I don't understand this question. Oh, do I recommend women relate friendships uh, only if they are on the same level as you and can you know add to you instead of distract? Okay. Otherwise, you don't really need like. I'm, I'm like this in my life because I already have kids and a husband and stuff like that. So if you can't bring nothing to, to my life beneficially, then I really don't have time for you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's work being a friend. It's work to have friends. So if you don't have any, uh, you don't want to do no extra work to maintain an extra relationship. Because I already have a lot of relationships that I have to maintain already naturally as a mother and as wife. I don't really have time for a lot of extra. So if you are single and you don't have time, I mean, if you have a lot of time and you're single and you want friends, then go hang out at nice places, rich places and meet rich friends that have the same goals or the same type of lifestyle that you want or that, you know, you already have. OK. Hi, Shira, you're 30. Dating has been a complete nightmare for me. Teach me your ways. I am ready to quit work. OK, then you got to date much older. Men, you got to level up to be the type of woman that they want to tell to quit their job. They got to tell you to quit your job. You got to look so good. They'd be like, ma'am, I like you. I want you to be in my life. I hate that you have to leave early on dates because you got to wake up early in the morning. Quit your job. I got you. You got to look that good. And the man got to be that much into you. So that means he's probably going to be much older than you. Okay, so that you want to quit working, you want to meet somebody that's going to tell you to quit your job, make sure you get the right dynamics. You got to be much older and you got to look so good. He tell you to quit your job. All right. That means put a lot of energy and effort into your looks, especially when you're going out to meet these um, meet people and stuff like that. Get, they're going to get all into you. You're gonna go, oh, yes, this is the one. Oh, I got to go. I'm so sorry. I have to get up so early in the morning for the job that I don't like. And then they're going to be like, well, how much you make? Do you really need that job? I got you. You know, they'll be trying to keep you as long as they can. And when they, when they do that, you can tell they got the money to, to provide for you. They're going to tell you to quit your job, be a woman. Da, 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 da. Okay? But you got to look the part. You got to be like, got to be on it. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you say when a guy turns a conversation sexual, but you're not going to turn it financial, turn it, turn the sexual conversation to finance. It's like, oh, you know what? There's this really pretty diamond necklace that I've been looking at. Or, oh my gosh, my shopping cart is full. You want to pay for it? Here's the link. You know, turn it right back to money when they start getting sexual. Always turn it to money. But don't ask for money. Always turn it to something that they can buy for you or bill pay or a cart that they can pay for. Know what I'm saying? 
and they'll see how inappropriate it is. Because just as it is inappropriate for you to be asking uh, for shopping on the first date or on the phone just randomly, it's inappropriate for them to be talking sexually like that. Okay. So you're going to show them themselves, but with, you know, asking for things financially. Oh, Callie, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And they won't dare say anything because they're being inappropriate. Just change the subject. Act, ignore the, ignore whatever they said and just keep saying, t talking about something else. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, your sugar daddy invested 8K already and will be buying you a car, but you have to pay off school, which is 15K. I told him about it and he didn't offer to help. What do you think I should do? Sure. Girl, take the car and get you another one to pay off the school. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Take the car and always be gone. To where he won't see you anymore and when he asks you what you're doing tell him trying to figure out how to pay off my student loans all right so take the time away from him until he pays it and offers to pay it, or you go find another one sprinkle sprinkle it's like why why don't why can't i see you tonight i'm trying to figure out how to pay my student loans tonight oh are you gonna be busy tomorrow nope i'm gonna still be figuring out how to pay my student loans tomorrow or when are you going to be busy? When my student loans paid, that's when I'm going to be free. That's what you tell him. I guess I'll see you in what, how many years? <laughs> Thanks for the call. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. It ain't sad, it's the truth. How he going to buy her a car but leave her in debt? He, he must not be balling like he's supposed to be balling. If he's going to be dating a college student, he need to have some real money. For him to be that old, trying to date a, a, a teenager or close to a teenager. He need to have his stuff together if he's trying to date that young. That ain't even a lot of money. He could make payments on it. Okay. He could make monthly payments on it. How to get a rich man to help you? How to get a rich man to help you get a job? Girl, the whole point is not to work. What you doing? You need to help you get no jobs and it just helped you get some money by giving it to you. How about how to start a business? That way you don't ever have to look for a job again. How to get a rich man to give you money to start your own business. Most important advice for a 17 year old. Wait till you 18. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't date broke. Don't ever pay on a date. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't get pregnant. He don't love you. <laughs> there you go. That's my advice. He don't love you. Don't get pregnant. Don't pay. Don't pay on a date. Don't over gift a boy. Their gifts always have to be better than the gifts you give them if y'all are dating. Okay. There you go. And don't get pregnant. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um. Advice, if you feel like you're too nice, try being mean. It's fun. <laughs> just, just, just pick a, just, just be mean every once in a while. It's good for your, it's good for you. There you go. How can I get someone who is already in a relationship? but shows interest, okay? Make sure they show money first, okay? That way you know they're real serious. They showing money, they asking to take you shopping, they giving you gifts, 
because that's the only type of interest that needs to be shown if somebody else is already in a relationship, money interest, okay? It's not real interest unless it comes with some money, I promise you. Uh-oh, Cam, sprinkle, sprinkle. You have a boyfriend, but you want to keep your options open, but what? Is it wrong that you want to date other wealthy men? It's not wrong, girl, you ain't married, sprinkle, sprinkle. Is it wrong for him? Does he pay all your bills? Is it wrong for you to sleep with a grown man who ain't paying all your bills? Then it's not wrong for you. And you're not married to him. So it's not wrong for you to date other men. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm serious. Y'all don't have no contracts, no commitment. Especially if he's not paying any bills. You can do what you want, ma'am. You're single. How can you date older men at university student? Okay. Well, if hopefully you have a car or you got some type of transportation over there and you of age. Uh oh, Ferdinanda. Fernanda. Married sugar daddy calls me every day, sends me money. How to ask for rent for six months that I need to pay 18K pound without seeming. Just tell them that um, the place where you live wants you to pay six months of rent up front in order for you to stay there because that's their new policy and it you don't want to have to move because it's, it's really inconvenient for you and if you know if he could just help out and then like tell him it's double what that is or like a lot more than 18k pound tell him it's like 25 and then say well, can you can you just do 18 then Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to know a man is rich quickly when they, he approaches, they be lying. If, if he's trying to spend money on you right away, buying a drink, asking if you want something, if you need anything, it offers to pay your tab if you're at a restaurant or a bar. Um, usually, if they have money, they don't talk about their profession a lot. They're not trying to brag on it, they're not super flashy. And they don't ask you what you do for a living most of the time because they don't care <laughs> about your money. Okay. Um, sure. Where do you get money for a glow up as a 19 year old? Should I focus on getting a job or finding a new man? Well, use what you got now. Level up to the highest of your ability to level up as a 19 year old, what you got now. And sometimes it's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. It's the person, not the materials. So try to stay classy and simple until you can level up to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, thrift stores are good, resale shops, stuff like that. Okay. Why are these dusties in here? Oh my gosh. Yeah. They pick Misha's are at work. They at home. <laughs> pick Misha. She out working hard for her dusty. How to make him spend more at the mall? Go to expensive stores and tell him he's going to take you shopping. Say, so you know what? You need to take me shopping and I really want something. So you got to buy it. Then grab his hand and, and drag him into the store. <laughs> if he don't buy, he ain't the one. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go get an older one. You said you want to dress cute. Girl, all them, all them people on the runway is flat chested. That's getting paid millions of dollars to wear clothes. They look skinny in them. Dress like a runway model. High fashion down. All right. Trying what? How do you make a foreign guy commit 
casual a girl. I don't know. Does he need a green card? <laughs> you don't make no man commit. They have to want to commit to you because they're afraid to lose you. If that if that man ain't afraid to lose you, he don't want to commit to you. Make him afraid to lose you. That's how they that's how you get commitment from a man. When you don't even want it and when you don't even need it. What if you meet a blind, rich man? What, he, girl, I'm going. Sprinkle, sprinkle, he got money. He can't see the price. Let's go. <laughs> We're going shopping on our first date, for real. I'm going to tell him we're somewhere else and we're going to be shopping. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Where are we at? We at the movies. Just sit down. I'm gonna just give me your car. I'm gonna pay for. It. Give him a drink. I don't smell no popcorn. Oh, we at one of them fancy movies. They don't serve popcorn here. <gasps> What's that sound? It sounds like cash register. Oh, we watching a movie. Of about retail shops. It's like a documentary. <laughs> you what got a dude buying you a movie? Well, got what got a dude buying you rave tickets? Okay, good for you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Um, how to deal with no contact with provider, but I'm itching to reach it. Girl, stop. Stop being a pigmisha. Just slap yourself. All right. Get a marker, a temporary marker, and write pigmisha on your forehead. And every time you pass by the mirror, read it to yourself because. If you can't stop chasing behind a man and worry behind a man, you ain't the prize. You always supposed to have an extra one, another one on the side, and you ain't supposed to be worried. They supposed to be worried about you. You got the wrong one. If he's not reaching out for to you, you got the wrong one. The wrong one. Do yourself a favor and go find another one that's going to do whatever you need them to do. You have free time. Go use it. Don't don't keep chasing behind no man. I don't care if he's a provider or not. Go get another provider. You got one provider, you get another provider. I promise you. That's how it works. And stop chasing behind a man. Stop worrying about a man. They need to be worried about you and what you're doing. They need to be worried about how they can reach out to you. You should be out on a whole nother date by now. You should be talking to a whole nother man. You should be getting a whole nother set of money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. When he give you time, use it. Okay. Now, I know men don't like to hear that, but it's true. Women are the prize. If you give them too much time, they're going to go ahead and use it. Okay. And you're not married to him. So you're you're staying loyal and waiting for, on somebody for no reason. That's not your husband. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Should you marry your twin flame or soulmate? What's the difference? Girl, you marry some money, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Marry your financial mate who's going to tell you to quit your job and you ain't got to work no more. Okay. A sprinkle mate. They sprinkle, sprinkle you with some money so you don't have to work no more. Worry about that. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. They say, listen to her exactly. Don't nobody care about that kind of stuff when y'all sit there broke. Get your get somebody with some money, ma'am. 
Okay. What? What if you want to relieve, leave a relationship but can't afford it? Now you stuck with a non girl. Go get you a, another man. Go look. Leave the house. Say you going somewhere, and then go over another. Then go somewhere else. And meet men with more money. Start getting money from them. That's how. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Date for money now. You could still date while you living with somebody who's broke. I promise you. You go date. He broke. He not gonna ask you where you going. He don't have enough money to ask you where you going. Okay. So just disappear for a while. Go get, go meet some, some, go meet people. Go see what you could do. Go hang out. Meet, maybe you'll meet an old sugar daddy. He'll just give you some money and you can leave. Okay. Start stacking and saving, and don't tell you, don't tell him. Tell him you're going to visit somebody or your mom or whatever. Tell him you're going to church or whatever. I don't care. Just go and find a way out to, and find a way to get some more money from somebody else. That's all you got to do. You only stuck because you're staying loyal. Okay? We don't need to see from a rational point of view. We need to see from the point of view that it's going to get us what we need. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See, that's the difference between men and women. It don't have to make sense for us to do it. We just, if it makes sense after the fact and we get what we want, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> you're trying to make sense out of, you try, he's trying to make sense out of what women going to do. We're going to just make it work. That's what we always do. We're just going to get what we need, period. If you can't do it, somebody else will. That makes sense to me. It's very logical to me. What if he cheats? What if you cheat? What if y'all both cheat, but you come back with money and he spent money? That means you win. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. What if he what if he don't have no money to give you and he cheats? I won't care because he can't do nothing for me anyway. What if you go out there and meet a man that has money that can actually take care and provide for you? Then what? Is it justifiable then? Yes, it is. It's justified for you to go out and find better for yourself. Yes, it is. Okay. How do you get your sister, husband, he got bank? Uh, see if he got a brother, but um, you can't steal your sister's husband. That's not right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's kind of ratchet if you ask me. All right. Um, Maybe you got some friends, girl. How can you get him to buy a car? You haven't seen each other face to face. We've been talking. Girl, you just get the down payment and worry about the payments. Tell him to pay the payments too. Tell him you need some down payment money. Cry. Make up some stories about why you really need a car. Wear him down. Okay. You said, I'm glad I don't have moth. These people are annoying. You're on. Yes, it just shows you how dusty they really are and what to avoid. Does she have a husband? Yep, she got a husband. And kids. And a house. And a nice car. And property. And businesses. She got a lot. She walks the walk, man. Okay. Okay. What if he owes you money? He would never owe me money because I would never give him money. Sprint, sprint. Now, I don't want to give grown men money. Sorry. If you did, lesson should be learned. Don't look for it. If he pay you back, he pay you back. If not, he don't. But never 
loan a man money. Never give a man grown man money. Elbow. Okay. That 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 just means you're a pygmation. Sorry. If you reach in your purse and a grown whole man is standing in front of you with their hand out, you are pygmation. We don't give money. We attract it. Okay, so don't even look for that money. Take it as a loss and keep it moving. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Stop. Okay, let me say one more thing before I go because I'm about to end, end this feed. Okay. Young or old, don't ever give a grown man money, ever. If you do, don't look for it back. Unless uh, the only time I recommend you giving a grown man money is if he's your son and it's his birthday or Christmas. If he's homeless on the street and you got an extra dollar. Other than that, try to give it to a homeless woman if you can. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Don't give money to men. I don't care what their excuse is. I don't care if they say they're going to pay you back. The answer is always no. Always. The answer is always no. And tell them not to ask you no more after you tell them no. Say no and don't ask me again because the answer is going to be no tomorrow. And then, then the next day, the answer is no forever. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> okay. They, will, they won't ask you anymore if you tell them like that. Sorry. What if they're gay? Then they should have more money than you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. You should be asking them for some money then. All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My grown. Well, don't don't give nobody nothing. Keep it. They're supposed to be getting giving it to you, giving it to you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said stank pick me women. You, your mama ain't in here. <laughs> oh, is that a dude or a woman? If, if you're a girl, I'm sorry. I thought you was talking to me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I thought she was one of them dusties. My bad. If you're not a dusty, my bad. <laughs> okay, thank you, Shira, for laughs once again. Oh, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes, my birthday is uh, very soon. I appreciate y'all. I put my little list in the community section if y'all want to send a little Amazon gift I have uh, on there. I appreciate it. Or y'all can cash at me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh oh. New Kali, you deleted all of your ex's pictures off his desktop. Is it wrong? No, it ain't wrong. Honestly, if he still have pictures of his ex, then he forgot to delete them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You just helped him out. If he says something or if he gets mad about it, it's like, oh, I just thought you forgot to delete them. <laughs> I was just trying to help you out. Besides, I look better anyway. Here goes some pictures of me. There you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You never get tired of my mama jokes. <laughs> Thank you. What if you don't want to pay to send a taxi or Uber home since you have money that's red flag right yes so, oh you got money okay well then i'm gonna go find somebody else who, who don't need to worry about my money then okay just never call them again girl i'm not i'm not worried about no man who can't pay for you to get home and stuff like that you got money okay well i got money and then you got nobody because I'm, I'm never talking to you again sprinkle sprinkle uh oh lauren sprinkle sprinkle 24 what can you talk about on a date with an 80 year old girl they ain't gonna remember what you said anyway you can talk about anything the weather, the price of gas, girl, this, 
the stuff old people like to talk about, the weather, the price of gas, what you ate for dinner. <laughs> oh, do Carly sprinkle sprinkle? Your man gets mad when you want to look through his phone. Then, okay, first of all, is it your husband or your man? Does he pay all your bills or not? Because I'm, that's not really your man if he ain't paying all your bills and he ain't your husband. That's just somebody that's holding a place. You know, does he does he pay for everything? If he pays for everything, then you can kind of claim him. Okay, but if he ain't paying for nothing, I don't care what he's doing because he's not the one. If he is the one, if he's paying for stuff, then why ain't he trying to go through your phone? Why don't you have more going on for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you have other options? Why ain't he trying to delete your exes? That's what you gotta, that's the level you gotta get to. You can't control a grown man. They should need what they need from you is to act like you already have plenty of options and they are one of them okay that's what, that's the level you need to get on they just one of your options you don't care what they looking at you don't care what's on their phone they need to care what's on your phone that's how you need to be acting and moving okay that's how you really need to be moving If you care more for them than they care for you, you care more about what's in their phone and they care about what's in your phone, you got it backwards, man. Fix it. Fix it. You said these women are dead broke. Girl, your mama ain't in here, entertainment channel. Your mama ain't in here. These women are smart and collecting their money and other people's money more than you can do how to not care if a guy likes you it's hurting my son girl they're, not, they're supposed to, they're supposed to give you money it don't matter if they like you or not they they probably like you enough to want to sleep with you and that's enough to get their money okay you ain't got to sleep with them now your your feelings are easy, too easily hurt then you need to toughen up OK, whether a guy likes you or not, doesn't matter. Go get you an old man. They like anybody that's young. OK, that's you want to boost your self-esteem. Go get you an old man. Oh, you sure look pretty today. Here goes some money. That'll boost your self-esteem quick. Oh, you sure looking nice today. Here go an envelope full of money. You want to boost your self-esteem? Go date some old man with some money. OK, they'll like you. I promise. You out here dating these young dusties, they, they can't afford to like you. They they in survival mode looking for shelter. They don't like nothing. Okay? Go get you an old man with some money. They like you just fine. Imagine how this feels. You show up to a date. What do you want to drink? You can get anything. What do you want to eat? You can get anything. What are you doing? Okay, well, what do you want to go after this? Okay, let's go. Oh, by the way, put this in your purse. This is for you. Do whatever you need to do with it. Do you look in it and it's just stack a whole stack of cash? That'll boost your self-esteem up real quick. You know. He said, and if you need some more, let me know. I need some more. I'm say it right there in there. I need some more. <laughs> y'all dealing with these dusties and wondering why y'all have no self-esteem because look what you're dealing with, dust. You're dealing with men who don't like you, who don't even like themselves. Enough to get undusty from. Get you some money, man. Go get you an old man with some money. Who likes you? Y'all sitting here wasting time. I gotta go. Men only have a problem with providing when they don't make enough to provide. Exactly. Uh oh, Amani. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate you. And don't and don't call that man. <laughs> All right. I gotta go, y'all. Thank y'all so much, everybody who donated. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all, everybody who asked good questions. Thank y'all, everybody who sent me the cash apps. I appreciate you. Thanks to my Patreon members for suggesting the subject of the video today. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all on the next one. If y'all want to ask me more personal questions, sign up for the, I think it's the third tier of my Patreon. The link is in the description bar. And you can, you know, message me questions on there and I'll type and message you back. Um, and I'll see y'all on the next one.